Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and welcome to a twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn. Hmm. I woke up an hour and a half ago. Uh, I completely destroyed my sleep schedule for the sake of Minecraft! For the Minecraft! Um, I have designed a clay farm based on uh, a farm by, let me get this straight, by Jax and somebody, something and Jax, some, someone who jacks it. It's by Jax and Wild. Jax and Wild. Uh, I have adapted their farm, I have improved it, and I have made it my own, and I have also figured out a way to make it multi-dimensional so that you can produce uh, around 500 or more clay um, in the fastest amount of time so long as you've got dirt to put it in there. I've done it again. Jaboy has done it again. I I have designed the greatest Minecrafty Minecraft that has ever Minecrafted, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, in theory, you know, if OBS decides to join us, then... Uh, then that's what we would be doing today. So, <clears throat> I could show you it in Spider Farm Testing, which is where I built it, but uh, I don't want to. I, I know how to make it inside, upside, downside. I spent an entire day, one whole day, uh, which would be Friday, I believe, um, just lying in this bed, which I usually do, but <laughs> just lying in this bed, Minecrafting from... Uh, from early in the morn to uh, late in the eve in order to design what I have designed for everybody. So, um, without further ado, let's uh, not build it for quite a while. <laughs> because we have, we have more important things to do. Listen, we came on to me building a clay farm because we're building this big beautiful red brick factory out here and we needed the bricks so I'm like well maybe we should have an automatic clay or brick some kind of farm like that and so that's why I went into full gear and figured out how to make a clay farm and designed my own um, only to realize at some point during the process uh, that uh, that the easiest way to get brick would just be to trade with a villager mason. <laughs> and and we've got two uh, zombie, zombie villagers in the basement waiting to be cured. So I'm thinking we cure those guys, make them both masons, bring them over here, shove them into the factory, and, uh, and turn them into slaves. I mean, uh, slaves. <laughs> Um, and then be able to trade for clay blobs or bricks or whatever. We, we trade directly for bricks, actually, with a mason, don't we? Um, and, and the reason why I would do the zombification and healing would be that we could, um, we could trade stone with them. We could trade stone for emeralds and then turn around and hand those emeralds back to them. Uh... Well, we have good news. September is over, but gift sub discounts are still here. Oh my god. You guys better, you know, give me money through through Twitch. You better give Twitch money and then they'll give me a minority share of it. Come on, guys. Help us out. Um, so what are you doing right now? Before we get started with any of that, first let's sleep the night away. And then I'm gonna go cut some trees. It's just, you know, a little warm-up thing. I just... I just woke up. Like an hour and a half. Like 90 minutes ago, so... I didn't just wake up. Uh, but... Ease into it. Uh, I am, however, going to get pretty much directly at it. Uh, for a change here. Since last live stream was about two hours of, uh, me jumping in circles and, uh... Accomplishing nothing, but we were talking, and it was lovely, and I had a great time. This time, we're going to actually try and play the game from the outset, though. So, we are still over here fighting uh, the Dark Oak 
to, for the love of God, give us back enough saplings so that we can grow another dark oak tree and maybe get enough saplings <laughs> to uh, fill our tree farm with uh, six? I, uh, I know we said eight, but at this point I'd be happy with six dark oak trees. Six certainly provides enough, so yeah. Six is what I want at this point. But to get there, we must first chop these mofos down. And they are apparently pretty stingy on the, uh... On the, on the, with the saplings that they give. Which I don't, has never been noticeable by me before, but then again I never really tried to build a, a tree farm. Uh, or maybe whenever I did, I just had saplings from when I had originally collected the dark oak in the wild, or dark oak was nearby so I could get a bunch of them. I've never been dark oak sapling starved, and yet here we are. So there's three so far. Wait, let's put them on the hot bar there. There's four. We've gotten one tree back. Um... Yeah, I just need to get up to the point where we get an extra four back. We've already got an extra three back. We're literally one saddle. We just need to be positive in this cut. By one, and our sapling production will increase exponentially. <laughs> We've done two or three cuts now, maybe four even, I don't know, and not gotten what we needed. And wow, are they coming in now, though, huh? It's like we're, uh, we might finally be getting fortunate here. Maybe it was just incredibly bad luck. because I uh, accidentally take some of the leaves with my silk axe. And I made this axe silk because I anticipated we'd get uh, watermelons. And then, you know, you want it to be silk so that you don't have to put the watermelons back together after you cut them. And uh, we are now 66 hours into the seed uh, and watermelon free. <laughs> Never happened. You biodegrade naturally. Even though I'm supposed to get better rates if I hit it with a fortune thing, that never seems to be the case, does it? Certainly, look, fortune three. Nothing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let you do your thing. So, let's. After you back it up, then stop. And what, what, what? Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. After you back it up, then stop. And what, what, what? Drop it, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> wobbledy, wobbledy. Drop it, drop it like it's hot. <laughs> I got, after the last live stream, I had some, you know, I just, sometimes things just fall out of my mouth. And last live stream, one of the things that fell out of my mouth. Wait, don't grow. Don't grow. Don't grow. One of the things that fell out of my mouth was, uh, use a, use a fine motherfucker, why don't you back that ass up? <laughs> and I didn't even remember where that came from. I looked it up, and it's juvenile. Juveniles, and it sounds juvenile, doesn't it? Uh, juveniles, back that ass up. Back that ass up double Z's. Um, and it's got Lil Wayne in it at the end. And that's Lil Wayne's part, is the after you back it up, then stop, then wah, 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 drop it, drop it like it's ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. So we got all of the saplings that we could possibly want. Holy crap. We, we had, j I guess it was just incredibly bad luck on every cut until today. I don't know what the hell. So it's going to be a, a good... It's gonna be a good day. 
uh, is what the game is telling us. We're definitely not going to die on our hardcore seed today. Right, game? Surely that's what you're communicating. Apparently that's supposed to be there instead. And I'm just waiting for all of this stuff to, to fall. And yeah, we actually can have eight. This is, this is incredible. Incredible how shit my luck was until now. Uh, to not get what we needed in all of those cuts that we did. Absolutely redonkulous. I'm going to go ahead and plant them since we're now uh, significant net positive here. And we have six. Um, six two by two dark oak trees planted. No problem. And we can start collecting saplings now. My god. Alright, things are moving, finally. <laughs> I also have... Uh, well, that's spruce, and now there's my dark oak. Oh my god. I got no place for all this wood. I mean, I do. I just am not using it yet for some reason. There's also a couple of zombies in my basement. Pay no mind. Don't be racist about it. Everybody's got zombies in their basements. It's just I'm the only one who will acknowledge it. <laughs> what? I don't know. Um, yeah, let's have like a spruce... Mm -hmm. A spruce chest. We're in the spruce biome. And I've been struggling all this. That's dark oak. I've been struggling all this time. Let's, let's have it be a split chest of spruce and dark oak over here. What are you doing? You do that, and then you can do this. Buddy. Boom, baby. Um, so this is, it's just, see how it's mixed and fucked? Yeah. This has been our, our spruce, spruce oak situation. So spruce. And where's the dark? I know there's at least one dark in my inventory here. There it is. Yep. Spruce. Dark. And it's gonna be all this stuff eventually I'm gonna bring over. So, dark and spruce, spruce, spruce. And then, yeah. Um... Maybe from right to left, even. That's never how you do that. You'll be fine. So this is for dark oak stuff. So usually I would do plank, stair, uh, slab, and then random shit. Spruce saplings there, dark oak there. Okay. Let's just put our oak stuff there. Uh, spruce sign. Hmm. I'm apparently burpy. Bear with me. Bear with us. Uh, please. We're working hard. Let's try and resolve the, the burpy issue of burpness. Is that all the woody stuff? It looks like that's all the woody stuff. Okay. Except for that I've also got... Your birch. Even there. Okay. I don't know why I'm carrying cobble. I'm sure there's a reason. We are many. You are but one. Um, no. I'm, I'm many as well. We are all many. Why did you say that to me, Licks Rob? <laughs> that's that's a bit of an action, isn't it? That's uh, who's Rob, and uh, why did you decide to <laughs> to name yourself after the action of uh, what is this? What what am I into? What's my thing in this world? What's my thing? Hmm? Well, I really like Lick and Rob. I'm gonna go with Licks Rob. <laughs> Hello, Licks Rob. Welcome in. Um, bricks, blocks of redstone, pumpkin bricks, and then that's the bricks. 
We are still working the brick scenario. In fact, upstairs. Um, are we? Yes, we've cooked some. I can keep stuff moving. And I can really keep stuff moving, in fact. Uh. Ooh, good. We're getting low on the clay balls, which means that we've worked our balls very well. We've worked that whole balls situation. We've licked Rob to the point of. <laughs> How did you make your chat box like that? Uh, uh, the main thing would be in OBS, uh, there is a, they call it a filter? Uh, that's a 3D transform. And I just applied a 3D transform and gave the, um, what direction would that be? So, would it be yaw? Because roll would be like that, pitch would be, yeah, and I gave the yaw a little bit of a twist. And I've actually got it. I've got a pretty complex setup, so I can do stuff like this, and I can make everything appear or not appear. Um, I think V brings up the, the wasad view and stuff like that. Um, oh, I threw something out of my hands there. Did the... Well, wait, though, the, the thing. I never saw that work. Did, does that work? Yes, yes, there we go. I was just, yeah, I was like, yeah, I didn't see that that one. But yeah, that's that's just a 3D transform. You can apply it to just about anything, and it spruces things up on your overlay a little bit. Um, but we are still in the realm for bricks, and today we're going to make a massive uh, a clay farm that no one's ever seen before, because I, uh, I designed this. I, I designed it based off of someone else's design. Uh, Jax and whatever it was I said at the beginning, uh, the name of the YouTube channel is Jax and something. Uh, but it's, I have modified it significantly and improved the efficiency, uh, the speed, um, and made it easier to use and also minimized the amount of things that you need and, uh, maximized how much, uh, yield you get. Um, in a way that Jax and whoever hadn't hadn't quite figured out. Hey, 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 come here. Okay. Where are all my big men? My, uh... My iron golems. I haven't seen them in a while, which has been handy because... It's allowed me to capture zombies and stuff like that. But, yeah, all my big men are gone. That's not good. I wonder how many of my villagers have survived. <laughs> uh, huh. How many of my librarians? I mean, eventually we'll have to kind of rebuild our enchanters and make like an enchant... or li a librarian mall or something, but, um... Unbreaking 3... Yeah. I don't like how quiet it is in this town. It seems like maybe a lot of people died. Uh, so I'm going to... ...reopen... Yeah, I'm gonna reopen our, uh... ...our baby production facility, which means this guy needs to get out. Which is a bit of a trick to pull off. Uh, Alright, so if I knock this out, he just needs a job, is the thing. Um, so what can I grab quick that gives this guy a job? Just something to lure him. Hey guys, um, you're a little bit problematic the way you are there too, I realize now. Yep. <laughs> you're problematic in a number of ways, including this one. I want that. You know what? We don't need these, this here anymore, either, is the thing. <clears throat> I'm just going to use this to lure my villager out. Where am I? Right. 
Uh, keep up the good work there, bees. Okay. Uh, you, sir. I'm going to place the stone kata. Just out of reach, hopefully. Um... You've fallen in the hole. You silly, silly boy. Alright, well... I can probably fix that for you. This was not the plan, silly boy. Yeah, you're, you're making me break all of the things. If I do that, and no, if I do that, you'll be able to get up. As soon as I break this, anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right up there. Just, just up is where you want to go. Just. <sighs> and I'm, and I'm sh short of a bucket. I'm gonna short a bucket for a minute. I don't know where that extra bucket went, but I'm making another bucket. Okay. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna put this back here. You leave and you're never coming back. Um. And how the hell does this go? You go like that. Oh, it probably got pushed, didn't it? Do. No, nope, wrong thing. Again falls through, but now I know what I've got in my inventory anyway. You there, I thought that's what I picked up. Maybe it was. Like that. And then like that. And then only the babies will be able to come through, and then they fall in there, and they just get in the water, and then they get pushed out. Okay. Baby production has restarted. in the village. Uh, not super cool that we seem to have lost most of the population of the village. Considering how many people I had trained up for, you know, various things that, some of which we still need. Still got an Unbreaking 3 guy in it. Okay, uh, so we did the trees, did that. How am I going to get these these zombie people in the basement? By minecart is how you're going to do that? Okay, so let's start working on this. First off, I need to separate the two zombies. Um, so I'm going to do... Um, really two minecarts would be the way to go here. Yeah, give me another one. And then put one of them, like, here. Do, do I have to place minecarts on? I didn't realize you had to put them on the, on rails. Okay, do I have what I need to make rails? I do. Right then, one here, and one here, you know, honestly, no, closer, there, and there, minecart, minecart, and then, Break the boat, and walk away. And then will they just get stuck in the, uh, in the minecarts? You have to do something in order to get them into the minecarts? Or will they just wander in the, so it's not like a boat, is what we're finding out. 
Oh, hello. You're clever. Uh, yeah, they don't just fall in there, but I know you can get them in. And they're standing right next to it, too, so... Whatever it is that you have to do in order to get one... And I swear I've seen, I've had, like, guys like this accidentally hop into my minecarts um, when I had minecart systems set up. And now I'm standing up here wanting them... Ah, there you go! Jeez! They really have to hump the thing in order to get sucked into it, huh? But they can just walk into it. All right, well then, if that's the case. There you go. Damn. All right. Uh, so I've now got you both in the minecarts, and clearly the way that we will be moving you out will be that way. What I need to do is make the potion of weakness Excuse me. Uh, oh, where does this come out, actually? Oh, this side of things. I need to be going that direction. So, yes. This is, this is a no from me, dog. It's gonna be a no from me. Why do I only have one? Well, because one of them was, uh, grass. In fact, both of them were probably grass. Okay. So, fail there. Um, so then I want you going out that -um way. And actually, it'd probably be best if you went out that -um way. When it's time to leave. Uh, so this is the back. Fuck it. I think probably like, ooh, and some copper, uh, which we actually, I'm pretty sure, are going to need some copper. Go ahead. After you back it up, then stop, then wah, 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 drop it like it's hot. I, I don't know what, what, why, so we'll just backfill with cobble. And then... Yeah, I do have one of those, so put it here. Oh my god. Uh, and then... What am I... Is this... Am I underneath a pumpkin? What the hell is this? Obsidian? I'm... I'm so confused right now. It, it's just the building. Okay. Uh... And yeah, I think it'll probably be nicest this way. You know, we're gonna move all this stuff around. We're not even gonna have a pumpkin patch here eventually. Um, as a matter of fact, we've got so many pumpkins right now, I'm willing to yank this out of the ground. Oh, guys. Oh, guys, though. I see you coming, guys. Oh, guys. Listen, my axe is designed to destroy people like you, is the thing. Um, yeah, I don't care. We have so many pumpkins. That we can't pick anything else up. Wow. 
What? Oh, right. It's I, ever since I decided to... Because I'm always struggling for hotbar space. I was like, let's have it so that we share the two button between the pickaxe and the shovel. And how's that working out for you, Pawn? It's, it's still not enough hotbar space, I'll tell you that. Well, that'll take care of itself in time. I don't know if I mentioned this. My axe is... yeah. You don't want to fuck with me. Uh, wow, protection three, thorns two. I didn't get hit by that thorns either. Surprising. Um... Mm. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Right? Mm. So... The... The this... If it comes out and it makes a turn... Yeah, I could, I could have it right here and I'd be pretty satisfied. So the track lays along there and it makes the turn and then it goes underground. Let's say like there. Shovel is too good. And then it descends like so. And then there's a little bit of a cave, and yeah, like that. Now to keep the horrors of the night from coming into my my dwelling. Uh, we can we can patch it up properly later, but for now, it'll just be like that. And then give me my tracks. Yeah, actually, hang on, let's, let's run these up. Um, so that's going to be a powered rail at the bottom there, so I'll skip that. And then... It doesn't need to be powered there, but it'll probably be powered, like, right at this turn. Should go like this. Okay. That gets another thing out of my inventory. No, I got some dirt on me. Okay. Uh, you can't do a turn like that with redstone, but what you could do is... So the powered thing up there will up like you. Yeah, you'll want it, like, right there. you want it to grab pretty quickly. Pick you up in a second. You're gonna be the turn. And then redstone... Or, I mean, powered. Powered rail is what I mean will be right there. Okay, we're set up for that eventually when it's time to do that. But now it's time to cure these boys. Uh, they're both villager zombies. So I need a potion of weakness. And everything's upstairs, and I gotta run the gauntlet. Hey! They're pretty limited in their radius when they're stuck in a minecart, huh? Um... Potioneering stuff is here. Uh, I don't already have that kind of potion, so I'm gonna have to find where I've got my uh, my brewing stand, because we've made a big old mess here while we've been moving house. We've been building this uh, this tower. We're not organized yet. We've just laid some things out in some of the places where they will eventually go. Uh, that's part of your floor. You're going to want that. But anything else that can just stack and go away would be super, super neat right here. Uh, you. And in fact, we have... Let 
one of these to mark that that's our dark oak chest, or dark wood chest, anyway. A couple of blocks of redstone can go after themselves for now. And, and chiseled bookshelves could go up in the library right this very second. Bookshelves... Over there. Magic books I don't care about. Okay, where's my uh, brewing stand? It's not there. It's not there. There's a potion of fire resistance. I did make a brewing stand. I, know. I don't see it in that one. Ah, there it is. Brewing stand. And then do I have, like, bottles or... I'm also going to need spider's eyes. I'm going to need sugar. It should be in the food chest if I've got any. I don't have any on the inside here. Spider sugar, spider eye sugar, and then black powder. Gunpowder, rather. Okay, uh, I have to go outside for the sugar, I guess. Go get some actual cane. Um, sure, whatever. Uh, you got one empty bottle for me? Well, let's fill this cauldron. <laughs> I guess I need sand. Well, no, you've got glass. I've got glass already made. Some more bottles. Don't go up that one. I'll take you all the way to the top. Uh. And then you're gonna need, ah, there's so many things that I need and don't have handy. Um, okay, the gunpowder was already up here. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna use that immediately, we're gonna use that immediately. To hell with it. I certainly have enough. Throw you in. And then, do you have to do a mundane potion first? I don't think you do. I think you can make weakness straight away. I just need to turn the spider's eye into a nasty-ass spider's eye, is what the game calls it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, while you're here... Close enough. And then... So I need some sugar. Sugar! Um, spider eye, sugar gunpowder. How do you, how do you make this thing? I thought that was it. The, um, fermented spider's eye is spider's eye, sugar, and something else? What else goes into it to make a fermented spider's eye? Uh, a brown mushroom. Aha. There's the red mushrooms. Don't try and lie to me that we don't have any brown mushrooms. Um, I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna fall for it, game. I ain't gonna fall for it. Take that upstairs. Can't fool me. We're in the biome of brown mushrooms. Don't, don't even. 
Am I just being blind? Yes, I am. There it is. Okay. Now, fermented spider's eye. And that's the only ingredient. All right? Oh, I went all the way to the top. So I'm a damn fool. And we are cooking weakness. And then gunpowder makes it something I can throw, right? Gunpowder is the uh, ingredient that turns it into a uh, tossing potion, yeah? Redstone makes it more powerful, and... I don't know, what are you doing? And, uh... Glowstone dust does a thing, and... But gunpowder is the one that makes you uh, throw it, I guess, because, you know, gunpowder is associated with projectiles. And this turns it into a projectile. Splash Potion of Weakness. Okay. So now I just need... a uh, gold... golden apple. Uh, surely I've already got some. No? Have to make them? We got apples for years. Uh, two apples, and then I need gold. Uh, which is either upstairs or downstairs. There's raw gold. It's all copper. Go ahead and smelt it up. But, let's go downstairs and see. Yeah. Might as well start bringing this stuff up, huh? Screw it. So your copper, and your gold. And I didn't bring the iron? No. Okay. Uh, more gold. Golden apple. There's one. Two. Let's go heal us some some zombies. Well, let's go sicken them first, <laughs> and then uh so step one is take this uh, apparently me too. And step two is uh Okay, Our zombie villagers are now going through withdrawals. See him shaking? He's shaking. Right, well, you guys do that. Um, iron, iron bars. Sure. I don't know about that stuff yet. Iron door. I'll take that up to the iron area. Well, these guys get healed of their zombification. So, I'm hanging on to my iron, but, uh... There's some of the irony bits. In fact... Maybe just over there. Sure. That smooth quartz slab can get out of my pocket, too. There we go, 
here. Mm. Spider's eyes in the food chest. Have I ever eaten a spider's eye? <clears throat> How long does that last? There, now we know that I've eaten one. There was a reason I was carrying around this cobble and stuff. I know there was. <sighs> one chiseled bookshelf. Yeah, this seems like a good place for it. <sighs> it's not where they go. Where are they? They're in here. Okay, so you... Aha! Iron and more clay. Supposed to be stuck in that furnace. Oh. Give me you back. Gotta get used to just hitting four for that. Brick. Hey. Okay. I'm, uh, making it work. Let's have you over in four right now. And you go there and there. Or is it like that? I don't know. I don't need the stone cutter anymore, but whatever. I will need it. Ooh! Zombie doctor! One of our guys is, uh... Is a dude. One of our dudes is a guy. Yes. Now we'll just wait for the other ones, since this is why I had to split them up. They were both in the same boat, and had I not split them up, then he would have been cured, and then he would have infected him again. Uh, which, you know, could work for if you want to keep infecting and curing them over and over again. But it takes up to five minutes for each zombie to, uh, cure. If I recall my my Minecraft nonsense correctly. Hello! We have two gentlemen now. Lovely gentlemen. Pretty, pretty boys. What? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, I shouldn't have done that. So, where did I put the, uh, you away? And then a powered rail, and then like a button in the middle of the room, maybe? There you go. Don't, no, don't, don't, yeah. <laughs> don't, like, get stuck in the wall and die on me or anything. So these are... Uh-oh, he's a weaponsmith, and you don't have a job, but you are a guy. That kind of sucks, that you're specifically a dude. You have a job. Oh, wait, you don't have a job. Ha-ha. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Um, if I were to make you a stone cutter... Well, you took it when it was there, but now you're not... Probably because he's already, like, honed in on some other job somewhere else. Or maybe it's because the other guy took the job, if I put it there. 
one of you will take it. Um, so the idea is maybe the, the amount of stone we trade will get low on them, but I do want to make... I was planning to make both of them masons, uh, and then use that as a way of, of doing the emeralds. It's not necessarily the best way to get emeralds, but it's just like it's, it's themed around that we need clay and bricks, and we make these guys, you know, who they need to be for it. Um, Alright, so then we're on to building the the rail the railways is what's going to be the thing now. To get them over to the factory. <clears throat> and it's feeling like I'm out of iron. That's how it's feeling. Uh take me up to get the gold. And I need redstone. Powered rails. Oh, well, I'll only need like, yeah, six will probably be enough, honestly. But I don't have enough iron to make regular rails. Are we going to end up making an iron farm here? <laughs> I don't want to. Not yet. I kind of don't like the idea of an iron farm at all. Uh, it's, you know, the basic concept of it is torturing villagers in order to force them to spawn big men so that you can kill them and get iron and I don't, you know, it's just like, eh, maybe we don't need that in our lives, but if, if I'm out of iron, for real, for realsies, um, which I might not be, let's look for iron brick, pressed iron in the chests. I've been moving everything around and throwing things in all the places. And we may just have it somewhere. Pretty sure it's not up here, but I'll double check all the chests. Oh. Right, keep keep it cooking. No big blocks of iron lying around for me? No? Okay. Uh, the diamonds, though. Chin with the iron for now. And... Hopefully I'm done with that. Hopefully that's enough powered rails. I will need... Redstone torches. To match the rails. Okay, last place to check for um, blocks of iron that maybe my eyes were just overlooking. No. Where's the obsidian? Oh, it's right there. It's because I took it out and put it back. No. And no. Okay. So we need iron. Uh, I'm going mining. Because uh, it's the next part of this. So. Down to our mines. And I said we're going to need copper. Whole bunch of things and dudes down there, by the way. There's a fox, a man, and a cat. A fox, a man, and a hat walk into a hole. One of them's a Jew. One of them's a... <laughs> One of them's a drunk Irish. One of them's a Polak. <laughs> Just, where, where is this joke going? I don't know, but we're going to get somewhere. <laughs> if you don't know the way forward, then it's probably racism. <laughs> uh... 
Where was I mining iron before? You can use some. Was that, uh, before I jumped down, is this the spot where we go over? Yeah. And then from here you go down. And semi-remembering. We've got a portal to the nether that kind of takes care of this. This travel pawn, you could have just done that. In order to get down there. Well, that's how I'll get back if I can figure that part out. Yep, this is all very familiar. Uh, the problem is I've already harvested all the iron from the familiar. This was our diamonds cave, actually. This is where I was going for diamonds. Lots of clay. If I wanted more clay... Uh-oh, what was that? It was just... Sounds of the foliage moving. Okay. Dear Lord, what is happening here? Hello, Saki McSockface. Um, what's happening is I'm looking for iron. I need iron again. I've gone through all of it, so now we're back in the the danger of the you know. Depths of the deeps of the depths of the depth deep deep the depth of the th What's that? Just gold? Okay. Uh, I'm also very likely to get lost, so remember these coordinates. <laughs> I want to clip that. <laughs> I can climb down those vines and get straight down there, and then we'll be in an area that we haven't mined before. Uh, but we've also not lit it up, and it will be mildly dangerous. And we are in a hardcore seed. Okay. Uh, give me my bucket of water that isn't of water. Was there some water? There was some water over here, wasn't there? I mean, you can just jump down into the water that's over. Is there water down there? You can just jump down because you've got feather falling. No water. I'll have to get back up somehow. Just, I don't want to, like, that's this is where you die because you got too comfortable um, in your hardcore seed. You, it's been a long time since you faced any you know, things. You got too comfortable, a little bit sloppy, and so you decided, ah, I'll be fine. Fuck it. And then that's, then, then the death comes. So instead of taking leaps into giant open chasms... Let's be smart. And, and cautious. And out of anything that I can light this area with. I mean, I've already gotten nine iron, so shoot. 
we're basically, we can go home, right? And let's just lava down there. Aha! Just give me like one big hall. Oh, hello! I'm under a mine shaft? I mean, if not, what the hell is that, right? So, yeah. Uh, give me back my light. And I'm gonna hold in my off hand while I mine us up to this wood that we're seeing. Uh, no, this is shit that you dropped down, apparently. You, you threw this down yourself. Okay. <laughs> We're back into the main pit. Which we've already harvested for anything and everything that it had. I need a new pit. I, I could fucking start strip mining for all the time I'm wasting here. Really? Nothing back here? Yeah. So then, don't go back there. There's some redstone down here anyway. This is a dark alley. With nothing down it. Just mark this off. No need to ever go down there again. If we get back down, back to that, uh, to that horrific pit. That I was like, let's be smart and not go down there. If we could get back down there, then I would stop being smart and I would happily go down there. Although, without any light, this is uh, just kind of turning into uh, a super bad idea. It was a regular bad idea, and now it's e it's super bad. Uh, this goes in, is what my torches mark. Now they say it goes out. Yes. This is what we wanted to find. So, here's my, um... My XP farm. Okay. I was also considering, uh, doing one of those healed zombies as a cleric, because... Rotten flesh. But I think we'll get around to that. We'll, we'll definitely do it eventually. But for now, it's just not a thing. We don't need the XP either. Um, do we have any, like, coal? Or light? I gotta go get coal and make more torches. Alright. Well, this is kind of a wasteful trip. <laughs> I didn't... I think I got nine iron out of there. Woo! All right, I can make sixteen more rails. Wow! Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll be right with you guys. I'm, I'm working on it. I, I swear I am. Uh, go ahead and take me the emergency elevator to the top. One level down. And I have all this charcoal. I had charcoal on me. 
How the hell did I not... Oh my god. I don't know what's going on with my life at this point that I didn't know that I had some on me. I could have swore I looked in there and went, oh, well, I guess we don't have any, I guess uh, no light then, I'm going to have to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to blame the game. This, this, the game's just fucking with me. That's what's going on here. And you... Go ahead and get in there. And another bucket of this. Oh, and by the way, something that uh, I didn't know, that you bastards could have told me, <laughs> is that you don't need... It to be dripstone blocks, the drip blocks, unless you're making dripstone. Um, lava will come through, water will come through, uh, all kinds of different stones. Uh, all kinds of different stuff. So this can be any stone that I want, and I cannot be wasting um, the dripstone blocks. I could have those outside making us more dripstone, which we appear to have none. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm, I didn't know this. I thought you had to put a dripstone block with a dripstone tip, uh, in order to get it to, to suck through there. Um, let's, let's fix that now. Uh, so what are you going to replace it with? Yeah. Uh, we could do... Mossy cobblestone. I could do mossy cobblestone or mossy brick. I'm just going to do straight up mossy cobble. Yeah. Uh, and I just need five. And I just have to replace them quickly. So put the mossy on four. And hit two, four, two, four. Uh, you're not gonna like lose my my tip in the lava there are you no more I'll just do something like that all right now two four like that and I get my stuff back and put you like so hello El Gavo I am the Ronin Bond. Um, what's happening here is, uh, is I'm just learning that you don't need it to be dripstone for it to function for letting things drip through. So. So all of those things are happening. Did, did I lose that pointed dripstone? I lost a pointed dripstone, didn't I? No. I heard something go tss. It must have been this? It must have been that we lost. We lost the dripstone block. It popped up into the lava. Oh, that sucks. Oh, does that suck? Uh, I don't want that happening. Jesus, God. They gotta make this uh, just super cool, don't they? Give me, give me this. Um, fuck. So I break you with that. Grab it with that. Uh, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> None of the shit worked there. I don't know how the fuck I was aiming there and clicking place a block and it fucking placed it like over here. It didn't put it where it was supposed to, where I was aiming. Thanks. Just use bricks. Fuck me. Where's it coming from? Coming from over here. Christ almighty. Yeah, I don't even care. Listen, we make lava. We, we, we'll get it back. Um, but I'm not losing any more of my dripstone blocks to, to this shit. Alright, no more lava up there? Fucking awesome. Holy shit. Um, now I need my mossy cobble back. Just 
supposed to be three. It must be, like, up in there or something. Where the fuck did it go? Okay, you guys can stay where you are. Get you out. Precious resources. Um, did you not? Yeah, I didn't hear you get collected. Uh, four. Yeah, where the fuck did I brought five up here? And one of them is just gone now after that fucking operation? Lovely. Only dripstone block if you're growing the points. Yeah, that's what that's what it is, and I didn't know. And I've been dancing around, oh, we gotta put four of them together in order to do 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 for like, I don't know how long. For a long time. Mossy fucking cobblestone. One more, right? Things you don't know until you know. Fifth box said, nope, I'm out. It shouldn't have even been like I was placing them. So it shouldn't have been possible for it to get destroyed by lava or anything. I don't, I don't know what the hell happened there. One of the glasses as well? Uh, a glass? Two? two wait, well, hang on. Maybe I just... Yeah, this one is in the wrong spot. Is there perhaps one in there where it shouldn't be? Ah, uh, no, that's that's in a place where it's supposed to be. And one of the glasses disappeared also. Ah, oh, loving it. I can't even remember why we started doing this. <laughs> Seems like a thing that was, if we don't need to do it, then why are we doing it kind of a thing. Need some bricks to stand on. This isn't the open, Jesus Christ. Uh, like that, I guess. This is so convenient. Are you even, did I put you, is that where a tip? I don't even have a fucking tip there. <laughs> All the places I could have put it. Put it the one place I don't have a tip. immense level of inconvenience that has been allowed to exist in this game. In the UI, in implementation, just so much shit. Blows my mind. Give me. And then... What do I do? You go... Ha, ha, ha. You know, it's that one. My god, there's so many no, so you're gonna you're gonna hit it with two, and then you're gonna go to there, and then you're gonna go to there. There you go. Christ. And then I got two. Just a little bit of lava juggling for fun. Here, we're just juggling some lava. If I don't get that out of there, that's going to be problematic. Just, just do it, though. Here you go. And yes, it's going to be problematic, but it'll be problematic in the best way. Uh... Let's put you on four. Try and make this easier. So, two and four. Well, no, two, six, four. 
the monkey chewed tobacco on the streetcar line. You want to be aimed like there for this to work. Two, six, and then four. Nope. <laughs> One more. Okay. And now we just replace with you. Alright. It's all set again, and then we just need a, one more pointed tip. And I managed to get back four dripstone blocks. And why are we here and what are we doing? I, like, we have, I, there are goals. <laughs> There's definitely some long-term goals. Uh, here. Keep, keep it. Keep going. I know what we're working on overall, I just can't remember why we started on all this. So some more of you. Go in there. Iron. I'm gonna go handle the dripstone. The blocks are defecting. It's so many of them just disappeared, walked off, without even collecting their last paycheck. I'm sick of it. Uh, and... To be honest, like, this just doesn't need to exist here anymore, does it? Uh, it's an eyesore. And we're gonna have a factory now, and growing dripstone is the kind of thing that you want happening in your factory. So don't need mud. Wow, mud. Ooh. That just pops so fast. I love it. Wish clay popped that fast. After you've dried the mud out. Right? Like, it does? Oh. Okay. This is going to be brilliant. So creative mode in Minecraft is... Shit. Holy shit, I, you know, you're experimenting in creative mode, and I made a Efficiency 5 uh, netherite shovel so that I could dig faster while I'm doing and apparently just in creative mode, you can't harvest at full speed. Like, fuck this fucking game. Even if you've got the right tool, it won't let you harvest at full speed. Because I was digging clay with my netherite Efficiency 5 shovel, and it was not, it was like pop. Pop, 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 pop. Not just by hand. Being clear, I wasn't doing it just by hand and creative by pop. I had the fucking shovel in my hand. Creative mode is just so fucked. Uh, apparently. Where am I? Well, you got a whole bunch of shit in your inventory. You might as well dump out, huh? Yeah. Like, there are so many ways in which I'm just struggling in creative mode to get my hands on the fact that you can't open your own fucking inventory. Like, can you? Is there a way to open your own goddamn inventory? It's like, oh, you're in creative mode, so you won't need to open your inventory, but your inventory is filling up with shit that maybe you need. It's like, let me just fucking get into it. What? You fucking stupid? What, <laughs> what do you think we're doing? Why would you not? Why would you go out of your way to prevent... I don't know, man. People... It's hard to justify letting them live, isn't it? Letting, letting people live? Keep thinking, like, you know, you, you keep telling yourself, listen, we're just gonna get through this life without killing anybody. We're just gonna... That's all we gotta do here. One life without murdering somebody, you know? 
keep saying that every life, but then, you know, the life comes along, and what happens, what ends up happening? Well, you end up fucking killing people. So we're gonna just get through one without killing people. We're gonna do it! This time! And it's just, it's so much harder than you think it, it's gonna be. To not murder. Uh, where, where's the, with the, and the thing? With the, and the thing, you know? Just trying to keep that body count low for once. <laughs> I'm gonna do one, one run. One peaceful run here. Every, every karmic incarnation of me has done the genocide route, and I'm just, I wanna try something new! <laughs> I love this. Um. This building is not gonna be big enough for some of the things that we need to make, but I like, I like this building as it is where it is already. Let's have this, let's just finish this off as being our small factory, one of our small factories, and then we'll have more factories, or we'll extend it in length later, but let's just keep making the footprint what it's supposed to be. So after we turn this corner, looking at the other side here, then we fall back, we do three, and then we do, it's a one, it's a one banger. Listen, I know it seems like I'm getting distracted and we're not doing the villagers moved over to the factory anymore. I'm I'm just taking advantage of the fact that we're here when we're here, is what I'm doing. We're here right now. Let's do the thing right now. Uh, we're going to need all this needs to happen. What are you doing? Smacking up at me. I'm standing above you. That ain't, that ain't allowed, is it? I thought we said that we weren't going to do that anymore. this is supposed to be on. We got a bunch of bricks on us. Uh. Go back and sleep the night away. What? Oh, sleeping. Sleeping. All the foxes are shrieking. Not too long now until this royal imperial, uh, royal imperial, em royal imperial emperor. Wow, that is a tongue twister. Trump seizes power again, and not too long before the bullet whizzes through the air and doesn't just catch the ear. Not too long. We're all we all know what happens. We all know what happens next. We all know this part of the story, and I don't know why the man would just be so dedicated to um, to getting himself killed like that. You know, you you already you already had one like stint as a fucking dictator in uh, as a, as a, in in American history here. You got more than than most bastards like you can you know ever hope to get out of uh, undermining a democracy. And then you got shot at once on the campaign trail by a liberal? Nope. By one of your own. Quote, unquote. Except for you have no own. You don't really have an own there. You're not really part of anybody's team. Uh, you're just the, the horse of the hour, aren't you? You, you promise something that the uh, Republican Party is like, yeah, it'd be pretty good if we could get that deal. We could just be in complete and absolute power, not have to answer to anybody, not have to justify any of the things that we do, not have to, you know, with all of the racism that our party likes to do, all of the, all the fucked up shit. Um, yeah, that would be, be a fucking bargain if we could have that. Uh, so let's let this, this psycho do his fucking thing for a little bit. Do I have to... 
It's under pawn. That's the reason. You have to go under by one. That's why. Yeah. So, and in fact, you're not wrong that you should probably do it not on the incline. Yeah, do it on the incline, actually. Um, so then put the stuff back. So you there. Boy, yeah, always struggling for inventory space. We all know what comes next, you know. If it gets back in power, no one's confused about the next step. Uh, there will be a button on that. You know, you can either claim to be a good American and, and sit on your hands and watch uh, democracy fall apart and 51% uh, uh, of the population lose its rights and uh, everyone who's not white uh, lose their, you know, equality and kind of stuff. Or, you know, you can... You can... <laughs> Do what needs to be done. I mean, somebody's going to do it, right? We sat through the first four years. Now we know that he and the Republican Party will destroy, will undermine democracy, um, will, you know, go that extra mile, not just to be shitty while they're in the office and misuse the power that's of the office, but to actually seize power in a way that the office doesn't even allow them to, to, to take. What the hell did I come up here for? I knew until said all that stuff. It was a button. You silly boy, you were coming up for a button. And I know exactly where they are if I'm paying attention. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, he gets, he gets back in, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a Secret Service agent takes him out. That, that, that's, that would be a concern of mine if I were Donald Trump running for president after I participated in like six different attempts to uh, overthrow the results of the last election to just outmode democracy. You know, Secret Service people, they take an oath, they take, they swear to defend the office, sure, but when it comes down to it, that'll allow me to send them. Look at it like this. When it comes down to it, what their, uh, you know, the, the kind of patriotism that it requires to take that kind of oath is the kind of patriotism that uh, doesn't go away conveniently when a dictator steps up. And I just wouldn't, if I were him, <laughs> I wouldn't be fucking around with that. I wouldn't. <laughs> who are you going to possibly trust to not be the one who takes you out? I. It just seems ridiculous, you know. I think it's very clear where it ends up going if he if he gets quote unquote elected again. Trump gets back in power, at least he will protect all the women who are not protected at the moment. <laughs> I don't I don't get it, but it's it sounds funny if I can understand. Uh which which women will he protect? Um this has to do with his like raping a woman in the 80s, right? With his sexually assaulting a woman in a public place by placing his fingers inside of her in a Macy's. This is, somehow this this is going to wrap back around to that, right? I see how the wheels are turning. Hmm? Or has Trump made a commitment to, uh... <laughs> to, uh legalize uh, abortion again <laughs> on the campaign trail. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I mean, I've already voted, so I'm out of it. I don't, I don't need to listen to this shit. I don't need to know what's going on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I mean, what you need to be doing is making more, more rails. Unfortunately, that's as many as you're going to be able to make. But let's make them. And let's place them. Trump claimed he would be the women's protector when he gets back in office at a rally. This was after his sexual abuse trial. Oh, and he's also part of the party that doesn't want women to have 
self-autonomy, right? Not allowed to have say-so over their own fucking bodies. Not allowed to make decisions that will, you know, change the entire rest of their life, right? That's and he's, but he's going to be the the protector of women. I, I definitely have heard, you know, Donald Trump at some point say, oh, "Women love me," you know, that kind of thing. But he says that about everybody, you know. He, he he'll be uh, starting up a second Holocaust on Jews, and he'll be saying, "Jews love me." That like that's just what he does, right? Uh, this time you came up for, maybe I should, I could do a copper? I could do copper, if we've got it already. If we don't got it already, I'll make it, because it'll be, it'll be reasonable. Yeah, I don't have it already. And we don't even have the, uh, I mean, you just gotta make it. Some blocks of copper. And then... I mean, I'm carrying this stupid-ass thing around. So if I put you in there, and then I do you to cut copper, and then I come over here... You can't make it out of cut copper? So then a copper trap door. Oh, it's out of ingots. Oh, that's even cheaper than I thought. Okay. Cool. I thought it was going to be the other way. It's just fucking ridiculous the things that the Republican Party in particular will say. Um, like... Like, they live on a different fucking planet or something like that, you know, the, the claims that they'll make. This is not enough to keep out, like, a zomb a baby zombie, though. Baby zombie can come in and fuck shit up. How do you keep a baby zombie out? I mean, you gotta have a hole like that. I don't know. This will keep the main threats out, and anyway, you guys are moving over to a more secure location as soon as I get this all figured. Not sure how many rails you can get away from a powered rail before you need another one to keep things moving on a flat surface here, but... Yeah, I'll do it right here just to be in line with the farm. Boy. But yeah, it's just, it's kind of incredible to think about, uh, that... that bro doesn't seem to... Didn't seem to be aware that uh, people are not going to stop shooting at him. <laughs> Gets into power and starts doing the fucked up shit that he was doing before, just doing some more of it. They're not going to stop shooting. Uh, I would just be worried as hell about that Secret Service detail if I were him. <laughs> No matter how much you think you've vetted the people who are going to keep the bullets from hitting you, you just can't know when you're that level of dictator. You can't possibly... I guess he's just going to rely on the, you know, hey, if Putin can pull it off, then somehow I can too. Is just, I guess, where he's got to be coming from on that. He'll help turn the corner and get over to there. If we're going up... Don't go up. Stay under and come in underneath. 
kind of kind of neat actually to do it this way. I don't want it to not be you know, to not have support like that. So one more. Just it's a slightly different situation in America, you know, they've been the the guys who are running their dictatorships, the North Korea and <laughs> Russia and stuff like that, they've been they, that culture's been being trained into that situation for a while. Uh you know, they've been they're not taking shots anymore. <laughs> Uh, but there was a time when they were. You, you, you're starting up a new dictatorship in a country that doesn't do this. It's just, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, hmm. I'm not sure that this is going to work out the way that you want it to. In a country where you and your party, rather, the party that you're representing, um, have made sure that we've all got access to guns that <laughs> don't even have to, like, Think about it for a couple of minutes. It's just like you're setting yourself up for failure here, you know? <laughs> it's going to be your own damn fault in every way. Uh, so my thought is that I... Hmm. You know, the train yards actually do come into these old red brick, red brick buildings, you know? They do come in... Uh, and they would come in through, like, one of these doors. But I like the doors so much, I don't want to fuck with the doors. And this is just to move a couple of guys over here for now. Like, don't make it into a whole thing. So th the next deal, the next part of this that needs to be figured out is where they sleep. Or where they're going to be sort of trapped in, even, to the building. Because uh, they will kind of need to be trapped into the building, won't they? Yeah, kinda. I think maybe Trump has been training for his future dictatorship by playing the Tropico games. <laughs> uh, so this is this one goes all the way up, kind of column thing, and then and then this would actually just be an open hole in theory. What is going on over there? Oh, it's a bee's wing flitting. I like seeing that. Seeing that, I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> There's a rave. Uh, so then you'd be there. You'd be here. And then another three. Like that. Like that. Uh, and then. Why is that in the corner? What? You do one, two, three on the exterior. One, two, three. This is... Two, three, one, two, three, but the three is an interior, so you end up seeing one, two, one, two, and then that on the outside. Okay, no, it, it, it's, it works out. The math works out. So it's one, two, three. And then... Does it work out? Two, three, turn the corner and come in. Three, which ends up being like that. So it's three visually from either side. And then... And then we would repeat what happened on that side of things. Which I don't... Exactly no at this point, but not all of this is correct. Let's go look at how this works on this side. Comes around by three, comes around by three, falls back by one, and then we get that, and there's a four gap.
Yeah, I thought I heard a creeper following me back there. So three, and then one. Does it come out by one? Did I? I've already forgotten. And then one, two, three, four, and then uh, and then I feel like it actually does that. Is that the deal? It's very odd if it does come forward like that, it should really fall back instead, but... Yeah, creeper. Somewhere around. It's three and then it falls back by one, and then the middle comes back to that level. That's, that's how it's supposed to be, yes. So this is actually supposed to be like this. Yeah. And then that's why this comes back to this frontage. One, two, three, four. Really? I hear you, baby. Okay, I think that gets us, that's the footprint then. We've done the footprint, and if I can make it too high in all the places, then we've created a wall that they can't just walk over. And can, in theory, secure the interior, kind of. In theory. In reality, well, that's a different matter. You kind of suck at this, buddy. Sun's coming up. I don't know why you're trying to attack me at the worst part of day for you. Uh, but I, I would recommend against it. And then actually, it does like that. And the windows, and then there's gray concrete and whatnot. But okay. 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 Can I, uh... Take it up like one more in, in all the places. I believe I made that jump. Okay. And then if I could have No, no, no. You don't put it there. If I could finish off the windows before I'm out of brick. Huh? Hey! What are you selling, friend? Death? Jungle saplings. I don't have jungle saplings yet, so yes. Gray dye even is helpful for me. I don't care about tube coral or moss blocks, but jungle saplings and gray dye, I need to bring you a bunch of emeralds. Um, you know, stay here. I'll be back. Uh, I don't know how much money I, I have at this moment. Spent a lot on blue ice recently, so I know that I've got some money lying around somewhere. Yeah, it's not a lot of money. No, it's not. Fucking empty. I mean, dirt goes behind you. You can put that away in the correct place. The dripstone you want with you. Uh, bow. Fucking chainmail pants. 
Fucking mud. Fucking grass blocks. It's all gonna go in the thing behind you. You can go up there. Uh, dirt, though. It's dirt, dirt, dirt. Dirt. And then wait. You know, fucking bullshit. No, that's my bow. Alright. Uh, wait, where's the... Yeah, the emeralds. That's not a lot. I'm a very rich man. Just not right now. But, you know, hamburger today, I will gladly pay you Tuesday. Gladly pay you Tuesday for hamburger today. Not even... I won't even be angry about it, bro. Let's, let's make whatever trade I can make immediately, and most importantly, I need like four jungle saplings straight off. So as many of those as I can get, and then I don't have enough. I will be back. I want all the saplings you can give me, because jungle is stingy. Where am I going? You're going for your pumpkins. Yeah, one stack of pumpkins will be enough. I just need, like... <sighs> I hate it. This is gonna be expensive. It'll be very expensive. If I can get the, um... My farmers, I'm not gonna be able to get... What I wanna be able to do is get my farmers down to where they're trading with me. Uh, they give me a deal on the... On the pumpkins before I trade with them, but it's not actually going to happen. I don't have enough things to trade. And you... Which means I should have brought way more pumpkins in this. I'm thinking in a different world <laughs> where, uh, where we've already got these guys doing good trades. I'm just looking for that one emerald savings because uh, it makes a difference on, on pumpkins. There we go. Make all the rest of the trades there. And then you... Yeah, I need more. It's fine, though. I don't actually need to keep trading right now. They gave me enough to finish out my trades with this guy. M maybe. Maybe they didn't. I could have been sniping you from so far away right there. Uh, as many of these as I can get. And then, because we go through so much gray dye around here, sure. There you go. And it was perfect. The amount was perfect. So now we've got jungle saplings. We're making so much progress, even though it's like dancing around in every different direction in order <laughs> while we make it. We are actually making it. Trust me, though. You gotta trust me that we're actually making the progress. It may seem as though we're not because of, you know, physics. <laughs> Don't listen to physics. Physics doesn't know shit. Physics doesn't know shit. You guys... Yeah. Go listen to physics. It has any idea. Just taking this dirt, right? So that I can turn around and try and fill this space in. Uh, actually, I should be trying to fill, yeah, this space in, shouldn't I? Oh, 
Haus. That's probably enough. Seriously, though, I didn't pick up any of the other, the other dirt because of the podzel. Damn it! I switched over from Q to V. I swapped some buttons around, and I just don't get to use them often enough to train myself out of bad habits. Got five left. Uh, I would like to be able to place the light down. Uh, the lamps really help me to get the paste pattern here. One, two, three, and that's where the light would be. And then one, two, three, and then the corner of our jungle tree starts there. Is it better? to grow individual jungle trees or the big ones? One, two, three. I'm growing the big ones, and if we get fucked on this deal, then we got fucked on this deal. Um, for sapling return. You know, jungle trees are really super stingy on sapling return. So, if you happen to know for a fact that you can get better sapling return from single jungle trees or can you even grow a single... I presume you can, because those exist, right? In the jungle, you find them. Yeah. Anyway, we've got some jungle trees growing now. Uh, hooray. Another thing that we needed to do has been crossed off the list. We have another type of tree. You guys still good in here? Just chilling? Like villains? All right. I gotta re-empty my inventory. Give me a second. Um, yeah. I mean balls to it. I don't, I don't even care right now. Uh, just throw the stuff in the places. Coarse dirt. Here's some coarse dirt for you. Got pumpkins up my ass. There's pumpkins out of my ass. Three emeralds still remaining. Brown mushrooms out of my ass, please. Uh, gray dye. Which we would turn into light gray dye. Right? That's uh, something that we need. Uh, but right now, I'm gonna grab the gray powder and we're gonna sleep. Got two buckets of water right now, so we're good there. And then that's what we did here, right? It was light gray, or was it just straight gray? No, it was light gray. Yep. Yeah, it was between white or light gray, and I decided on light gray. Uh, so. Let's go there. Is nine up, isn't it? Which means I'm not going to have quite enough. Oh wait, that's you went one too high.
Okay, but those uh, pillars are in place now. Uh, and then this one can get started. And I should have one more in my inventory. Cool. Um, I liked what we were doing here with the spruce logs. And, you know, we're just trying to get this building to a place where it's kind of secured. Uh, and I need to build, I need to figure out how I'm going to store these two guys in there. Because I've decided these guys are going to work in the factory. Both of them. And I think they're both going to be uh, masons. For the sake of trading stone with us. And trading bricks with us, which we need for finishing the factory. And the town and everything else. We're going to need a, some, some guys to trade bricks with. Um, and if I've done my math right, I think... Uh, every time that we max them out, we'll be able to get, like, 80? 80, 80 brick blocks? I think that's right. Could be wrong. Uh, what did you come back up here for? For the wood. So, spruce logs. to do these doors. And they're five high, if I recall correctly. Five high doors. Uh, and then we would need to fill in the first story windows. And then these, uh, these bays might need to be closed off as well. They're three by three, at least on this side. Who did you lose your llamas? Because that means... Yeah, there's free uh, leads lying around here. And until I get a hold of slime, that's pretty handy. I got both of them. Okay. So, yeah, I might end up... Uh, Blocking off some entrances here. Uh, there frequently is something like that, like big doors for people to, enter, to let vehicles in and out of, but there's also, you know, a door for people to enter and exit from. And honestly, it would usually be like there, I think. Not necessarily in the middle. Middle is a uh, beam support kind of a important that the middle be unbroken, but you'd have them like here. And that's kind of a cool entrance. So, what kind of door, though? I feel like it should be iron. And then the loading docks are still like an issue for me, though. These, these loading bays. Because I feel like they should be open. Oh, and I think maybe Trump has been... Oh, no, you've already said that. Quit saying things you've already said. <laughs> what? How do I... How do I undo that? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so iron doors. Which I just moved up here. Yeah. Oh, that building shouldn't take more than one for each side. Three, four. I'd like it. eight would be a lot. It happens to take that many, and then we'll also need buttons. Here's four. We should have so many more buttons. Maybe we don't. Maybe we just don't. If you want them to be stone, then cook up some cobble. We're gonna need cobble. That is not the right one. That is. Uh, last the brick. Should grab some spruce logs. In case I decide to close the, uh, Close the garage doors down, at least one of them. <clears throat> and then also, I'm thinking for the for the work area for these guys. Maybe it's behind iron bars, very factory, factory chic. To have your work area kind of back there, you know kind of sealed off from the pub. We've been here two hours. I need to pee, and we need a live stream break. Uh, have a couple of stone. Get me some more buttons. Right now, we just need four more to go with our doors. And then can I put you back? No, I can't put you back. All right, I'll just drop the stone over there for now. And let's have ourselves a live stream break. I will pee. I'm gonna need to sleep in a couple of minutes anyway. That's gonna be a... more than a couple of minutes. I'm gonna stand over here in the building we're working on, which is absolutely coming together. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should grab more of that stuff too. Uh, and yeah, let's have ourselves that break. Seven minutes. There's the button. There's the button, I found it. Um, I don't understand why none of this is working. Um, what? <laughs> OBS? Uh, hey, OBS. Yo, OBS, though. Wait a second, let me, if I click here first, and then... What the, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's never been an issue before. I'm just popping it on and off to see if we can't shake it loose. It's, like, frozen? I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. It's just a piece of fucking shit software that's fucking fuck shit shitty fuck, right? Hang on, let me... Let me the, the cam stack. Ah! Okay. It still... It should have just worked. But I understand why it didn't, or what I would have needed to do to shake it out, and it would have been like this. I needed to do that to shake it and make it work again. Holy balls. Uh, seven minutes, live stream break. Uh, I'll play a little bit of music for you, and we'll come back and we'll carry on. Grab yourself a, a drink and meet me back here in 7. Don't go anywhere, pawn not out.
Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and welcome back to a twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronin Pawn. <clears throat> we're in Minecraft today. I mean, in theory, we are. To click some buttons here and make that happen. Including the ending of the music there. Welcome back. To the live stream, we're working on our factory. We're going to be working on clay. We traded with this guy for every jungle sapling and piece of gray dye that we could get. So now we've got jungle jungle trees. The potential for them to grow out back there. They are planted. Is that, that those aren't jungle, right? <gasps> I see. I see one. I see a jungle tree. Yes, indeed. Both of them grew. In fact. Look at that, our first two jungle trees. Now, whether or not we'll get enough saplings back from them in order to grow any more jungle trees is uh, that's a question for the ages. Um, but we've got jungle wood now. Never had jungle wood before, hooray. And our factory is coming together to some extent, but mainly before the day uh, goes completely away on us. Um, not the Minecraft day, but the day day. Um... Pawn, you're going to need double the amount of stone buttons that you made. Oh, right. Uh, that's the in. Or the out. And there's the in. Okay. Oh, you've gone in viso, have you? And now you want to kiss or something? Get the fuck away from me, brah. Brah, fuck off. Brah. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, brah ha, brah ha, fuck off. Fuck off, bruh. Uh, just putting the doors in here. The main, the main thing to do today is is make my genius clay thing. Genius clay thing. My genius clay, whatever it is that I that I may I I have invented. Okay, so you're on the back, and you open. We open out to the left. Yeah, I like that. Out and to the left there. So, same thing over here. Uh, uh, an automatic clay farm is what I have made. Out and to the left. Out and to the left. There you go. We've got an entrance on both sides there. Both ends of the building, anyway. And then we've got the matter of these these loading bays these these docks shipping docks and i just don't know i can't quite seem to commit to uh, one way or the other sealing them off leaving them open at least one side of things will be locked up as soon as we put glass into these windows so what color of glass do we think would be best for factory and i actually think black um, when you see the, uh, like, photos of these old red brick buildings, the, the glass is always... You, you can't really see anything through the glass, you know, it's very dark, either interior. For some reason, it looks dark in the photos, and that's what we're gonna go for, uh, here. So, give me this glass. Do I have any black dye? Of course you don't, because you've been making so much gray dye every time you get any black ink. You use it on that. So, before we uh, get on to the, you know, clay farm, brilliant friggin' clay farm, I want to get these two guys that are in my basement, who we've just healed uh, from being zombies, I want to get them over there and I want to turn them into masons and uh, set up a little stone farm. Uh, just a simple little thing. Uh, for standing there and hitting stone uh, by hand uh, and collecting stone and then we'll be able to trade with them for more bricks which will allow us to you know start finishing this thing off is the idea uh, uh, so that's what I'm driving toward right now and for some reason I need black ink <laughs> I'm doing so many things at once that all I can remember is that I need some more black ink. That's all I know. Going out for it. I'll bring it back and then I'll then I'll I'll figure out why it was that I needed it. <laughs> uh, 
I also need some more stone buttons, in theory. Yeah, maybe you don't. Maybe you're just not going to put that many doors. Uh, black ink is for black glass, so that you can black panes of glass for the factory. Right. So many farms we could use, one of them being a squid farm. Is that a thing you can make? Can you make a squid farm? Uh, it seems to me that it would have to be like just away from every other thing, right? No, that's just a fish. And that's just a fish. You would need to like get it away from here's some squid. Get it away from stuff so that you could in promote spawning. I really, I, it's so like, it, it infuriates me um, to recognize how bad this swimming thing is in Minecraft, that whenever you press forward, you go into this, the camera shifts in order to go with your body thing, and the camera doesn't even shift correctly in reference to the body, and it's just like, so when you're trying to do anything at a full swim, you, you, your camera keeps moving on you. And it's just incredibly bad, like, movement for any game. For any game. No other game would do this. No other, you know, they, they just wouldn't, right? Because they've thought about it. But this is an old game, and apparently they just haven't noticed or cared. And it, it, it infuriates me because this is, this is fucking Minecraft, right? It's, it's, it's made 50 bajillion dollars, it's, it's fucking Minecraft, it's, it's mind fucking craft, and they've managed to do the movement bad. It's just, it's psychotic to me. Basic movement. They didn't get it right. Not in, uh, not in water anyway. They've just overlooked one of the main... You can see why it just sort of infuriates me. And it's not, it can't be justified as, no, it's intentional, it's like a penalty for, you know, when you're moving fast and you gotta see, no, 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 no. That doesn't work. It's not an intentional penalty for something like that, it's just they didn't fucking think about it, and they've been through a million, million updates and a million versions, and the, you know, Microsoft paid notch two billion dollars or something for it, and nobody thought to fix the, this fucking thing yet. Just... Oof. Ugh, to just have- Ugh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Like, if this were some kind of sex simulator and we were supposed to be humping them right now, that's enough. I'm going home. Uh, then that would be an appropriate movement to, to build into your camera. It sure would. And then it would make sense. How do I- how do I leave this area? But I, I'm pretty sure it isn't a, a humping simulator. Um, I'm almost positive. <laughs> Where's my house? It's just like, well, look for the giant skyscraper. Oh, there it is. Found it. Oh, sure, now you're here. Okay, lots and lots of black ink. We shouldn't have to go out for black ink uh, again for quite a while. Especially considering we've got gray dye, which is the basis of all of our dyes. 
that we're using. So, yeah, 36 gray dye. We should be good on this ship for a while. Um, and uh, how do we make black... Uh, so we make the black stained glass first. And then I make black stained glass panes, because that's what they're going to be. And I'm going to start with just the 16, he says confidently, and with gusto. <laughs> that's how it sounded, right? That's how it's going for. Did it work? Did it work? So, as soon as we get the uh, glass in, then we will have a secured lower level of this building, at least from all of the sides that we're going to secure it will be secured. Zombies, skellies, they can't come in, especially from the side where they actually spawn. And 16 was exactly what we needed for the lower level. Excellent. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I might as well make the other. Uh, and we're going to need a crafting table out here sooner or later. Now I just need to be able to get up there. get to see, thank you, get to see what this looks like on the exterior. Black glass should be, should be the right choice, it really should. Step back. I mean, it's mainly just kind of not not there, it's not an issue. Uh, once it's uh, an enclosed building, then we'll get to see a little bit more what the effect ends up being, but it's fine. It is a-okay. So, we're semi-secure then. Uh, I want... to build a stone... Uh, a little little stone generator. Uh, so lava water, that kind of thing. I'm not exactly sure what the measurements are on that. I've got an idea in my head of how I'll probably build it. Or, you know, I've got a, a starting point. But I will need blocks. We did just make a bunch of stone. Maybe that's what I should make it out of, huh? I'm just going to go up the high speed elevator and then come down a floor. The other thing we could probably do is out of copper. We're not going to need that much more copper in here, uh, so I think it would be okay. And before I do that, is there anything before I do that? <laughs> uh that, and you like that, and cut that copper up. Cut that copper up. That is just so not a lot of copper. Some more. Okay. Okay. 
will clean this up eventually. Probably. Maybe. Uh, so yeah. I'm going to want... I'll want some of those, but we'll, we'll do it when we get over there. Um... And I guess I will leave a stone cutter up here, but then I want I want more stone cutters. Uh, I will need two for over there, and then the stone. I mean, I got all this. So you got all of the stone. Oh, you pulled all the stone. Okay, okay, okay. So there's two things that we immediately want to build into. Uh, the factory, and one is a stone farm, and the other is to get our dripstone farm back up and running. And then we can move our guys over here, and then once that's done, we'll be able to... Uh, start building the giant clay farm. Uh, it's not that giant, the first level of it anyway. <laughs> and we'll probably just start out with a one level system, because it's going to be very resource intensive to build uh, the multi-tier system that I've designed. But, 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 but. Uh, so the question is, in what direction and how, how, how is it going to get laid out in here? And I feel like over here would be fine for the for the stone thing, and it can be like vertically in this direction. The entrance is there. One of the entrances is there, so we won't be blocking it off. I don't, I don't know. You could have it right there too. I wouldn't mind that. And then this corner could be. Let, let's put it right here. It's, it's one place is as good as any. So we want. Uh, an infinite water source. Yeah, if I take from there, the farm might deplete before I can get it back. Let's just walk a little bit more and not screw things up. So, yeah, infinite water source, uh, first off. Um... And my thought is that that will be like here. I want to be able to stand at this level, feet on the floor, and hit two, two columns of stone that are coming out. I can't reach the wall from here. I can reach the wall from there. So if I do it from there, and then there would have to be lava that's... Da -da -da. Yeah. So this would be where I want to stand, I think. And... So then... I mean, we could make it so that it's like a four-banger, even. And then have a little bit of a step up. And then you can drill like that. It just depends on like whether or not you'll actually need that. So it's not. We can always build up to to make it work. But so, uh, in my mind, in my mind's eye, I like the idea of stepping up to it though. Also, so yeah, start start like up there, and then have it so that you. You want to be stood up onto this in order to swing at it, and then you want the stone to be appearing in here. Uh, and because I don't know exactly what I'm building, <laughs> uh, I'm going to put the stone 
there to start with. So that's where the stone wants to end up being. As it falls, I want it to be pushed toward me. Uh... Which uh, means we'll have to trap some water. Water will flow out of... If, if... Mm. So then... You don't have to do it like that because you've got the stone cutter. Stone cutters down, and then give me two stairs. The idea is to have some water flowing in such a way as, and then water flowing and lava flowing in such a way as it, it all combines in order to make you make you your stone there. All right. Uh, and I'm just not sure how I want to do this yet. Like, I'm, I was thinking the... So if we had water, ro you know, running across this way, across the side of it. Uh, so let's say I did, like, like that. And then we waterlogged it. It's going to flow out like that. Right? And then... Mm. I mean, I kind of like the idea of it being like that, and I could just have it all waterlogged, and yeah. And it'll be all source blocks instead of just a, a flow. Yeah, that'll be fine. So that would be then uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 4 is 8. Uh... Here, you, one, two, three, four, on this side, and then it's actually five on the other side, because I haven't... Oh, you did put it down. Yes, I did. Okay. So then, until we're ready, you can just not be pushing me around. That'll be fine. You know, aesthetic counts for me. I like the idea of, you know, we could do it cheaper... But I like the idea of, yeah, of that being like that. And so the water will combine, but then also underneath it, uh, we want water flowing to push it toward me. Right, so then we could do... Wrong thing. You can't do this, can you? Like, this... Wrong. Can you? Do like that, and then you do like that. Yeah, it's, it doesn't... Right. You can't turn it into a two-banger sort of a couch kind of a thing. That's fine. Just put them in like that, and then those two can be waterlogged as well. And then... Uh, that will be the stream that pushes the stone to to me. And then actually, underneath all that, I could have it, you know, hoppers and a, and a chest collecting and whatnot. That's another thing that could be happening here. Um, let's get the most out of what we're doing. Eight, at least. Stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I look funny? Yeah, I'm making money, see? Uh, and so the hoppers, and then something would want to stop it right here, stop the flow of water right there. Uh, 
which would be, you could do signs. Yeah, you could just have a couple of signs there. What have I got on me? You've got some wood. That's not enough. Uh, maybe it was enough. Signs, please. Signs, signs, everywhere are signs. Uh, what the hell? Nondeo! What? Yeah! <laughs> you fucker! That's, that's just... Another thing they've totally gotten right here in the billion dollar game. Sometimes it just doesn't catch on that that's what you're doing. Are you, is that what we're doing? Huh. If the water is blocked, no, that's fine. That's fine. And then you'd need to block this off like that. Uh, and then the, the premise then is, uh, Can I even reach back there to put the water in now? I don't think you can, no. <laughs> I, I do like that. Well, that's got one side with the water. Uh, that's the other side. You know, I want it, I want these things to look industrial. Making them out of copper, they'll weather over time. Might even want to, like, hit them with some wax at a certain point to, uh... To kind of make it look shitty. To, to store its shittiness. <laughs> Not let it continue to turn, like, all one shade of oxidized copper. Uh, if we, you know, happen to have that amount of wax. The timing is right. Um, what are you here for? I mean, I wanted to sleep, and I wanted to bring back two beds for my for my village people over here. I don't suppose I've got beds made, do I? There's one of them. You can go away. Dirt I got in my inventory, as always. Now I'm carrying spruce planks for reasons. What are you? Everything, like, a lot of this stuff, it's weird, my inventory, all this stuff is, is part of a plan that I've got for later. <laughs> Don't want to put any of it away, it's all, actually, I need that. Well, not now, but I will. Yeah, wow, all of that stuff. Uh, except for this sign. Those stone buttons, even, yes. Or something. <laughs> I need, well, I'm here. Let's grab the lava. Now, that's the part of this that I haven't thought through, and I'm just hoping that we don't need to, that it's just gonna make sense of itself. All by itself. Could have just looked up somebody's, uh. somebody's stone. stone generator. Or cobblestone generator, whatever it is. Is it going to make stone? Is it going to make cobblestone? I don't know, but we're making this thing. Uh. So without having to place eight um, lavas, Surely I don't have to place eight lavas. Can I make this somehow the lava comes across all of them? Or do I have to, like, make it all into source blocks of, of lava as well? I know you're going to have to trap it. Yes, that is, that is true. Uh, and I think the way I'll do that, just for aesthetic purposes, is... At 
least eight of these. back pieces it wouldn't uh, wouldn't hurt none except that you're running out so one two three four one two three four that's everything and then you're out of copper again and you still need to put a top around the thing or else it's going to light your door on fire. All right. Let's go ahead and turn them all into stairs. Just some aesthetic choices that I like. Uh, no, that's, you know what, that could actually be a kind of a cool view of seeing the lava from down there. I, I don't necessarily hate that. Okay. Uh, so then these don't need to be there. I'll be using this for stairs. Uh, and then so the two that I've got get me four slabs anyway. I'm going to go ahead and shove these in here and see if our door catches fire. Uh, so this is what I think we need to be doing. Okay, so that's two of, you know, we'll have to fill the whole thing, is what I'm figuring there. Uh, And then that's problematic because that's not, so it doesn't touch water if you do it that way. You need to move these signs. And then here's the question, is it going to work the way that I want it to? And I would, I would change the way that these signs are going to be. Uh, in the long run, I, I will come back and do this different. In fact, I have to do it differently than I'm doing it even right now. I want, I'll have a, something there uh, that they can they can stand off of. But for this second, I really just need you to get the fuck out the way. Right this second. Um, so what happens when I hit that? Okay. Yep. That's that's what happens. So then the layer of water needs do do we really want to All right. The layer of water needs to, everything needs to be either lower or higher and yes, we have lit our door on fire. Uh-huh. These might need to be full blocks. Yeah, I've I've made my I've made my bed, haven't I? There's 
one of them. And there's the other. And so the water and the lava need to be just right up each other's ass, is the thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Actually, a lot of it had already burned away. Oh! Well, that could be all of the problem right there. That, that isn't that. Maybe it just wasn't... It was leaking through there. Uh... It's plausible. Let's put it back. And find out. You're good on that side, though? Are you? Are you? Can't quite tell. I want to... Sure that this is all sealed. Aha! It wasn't. Let's see? I knew what I was looking at. Yeah, no. Should be. What? Why? Why? One of, one of these kind of issues, eh? Give me room. Back up, son. Give me room. Give me room. There you go. What? How do I end up with one fewer... <laughs> one fewer stair than I started with. Excuse me? Oh, one of you is a full brick. Which one was supposed to be a full brick? I don't... I don't think any of you were supposed to be a full brick. Still... Very confused. Are we sealed now? We are sealed. Will this now hold the heat? Or will the copper transmit the heat directly into the wood, causing it to burn? Thank you. That is an incredibly good mechanic that everyone loves. We are fully sealed. Put me in there. I mean, that's very nice of you to not go down that hole that I didn't, didn't do the way it needs to be done. Nothing is lighting on fire immediately. Not immediately. Okay, so that was that problem. One of one of our problems is solved. Um, but so the lava layer needs to be directly over top the water layer. Collect that done. It's not exactly a, uh, you know. What the hell, man? 
Not exactly a ridiculously difficult puzzle to, uh... <laughs> to have to figure out here. It's another one that just is the wrong kind of thing. There you go. That's cute. And then so... It's, uh, I want the, this water layer to push. Alright, I'll go sleep. I, the water layer underneath it is supposed to push the, the blocks to me. Really? You know I've got cats around here. Get, get, get inside. So one water layer to push, and then another water layer. That's how do you do that? You accomplish that goal, huh? Uh, honeycomb goes in here. Everything else we're carrying is something that we actually want in our inventory. Yeah. Except for I can probably get away with, uh... Putting those doors back. Uh, along with the buttons, for now. Yeah. Hmm. Any ideas? Uh from chat in terms of how you would do this thing. I've got I've got blue ice and I got packed ice. Um and so we could just give it a little push from back there, but we need, like, the layer, the lava touches the flowing water and turns the flowing water into the stone. That's easy enough to do. I could just put the lava layer here. But then the stone will be back there. Unless the water, as I push it, as I touch it, it hits the... and it does the... I mean, there's also not that many here. I could just put hoppers at absolutely every spot and have the hoppers collect and force all the stone in my direction. There's another way that we could do that. If you wanted to have, like, the lava... If you wanted to do a four-banger, you know, two-by-two two area, would that be possible, even? Because you could have water uh, touching it from every side. And the lava's up there. Oh no, I had done this actually correct. I had done this correct the, the first way. The first time that I'd done it. Yeah. This was going to work. I just need to fill this with water on all the different sides there. Um... I guess I kind of need to finish what I started before I... Before I carried on doing all the stuff. Like, I'm talking about, how would you do that? It's, I, it's a problem I've already solved. Uh, and it's solved by water logging. Right. At least for the single uh, layer. This seems like it would work to me anyway. 
these are the kind of neurological problems too that uh, I, mean, I don't know it's hard to tell what qualifies but it certainly seems like when you've already solved a problem and then you stop in the middle of implementing it and you're like how do I solve that problem that I've already solved shoot I don't know <laughs> it's like maybe maybe that's uh, kind of a brain issue so then we come up here and I put the lava in. You have to like pull you guys down for a second so I can see in there and make sure I'm put in the right spot. We put the lava in there. Does can you lava log shit? I'm curious now. I'm, I'm worried that I'm going to place this in the wrong spot, and then it's going to turn, and we're going to get obsidian. So I'm going to get in here, and look at this. That's the full line of blocks, so right there, if you just do there. And there. Wow, that is slow. And, uh, without these in place, it lights shit on fire. Okay, that, that works, I think. Now if I hit this... Yeah, the machine is actually bigger than it needs to be, because this is as fast as I can hit them, and we're never getting to the end of the row. So actually just one row would have been enough, is how it looks? Now there's a little bit of hesitation in that. It's better to be doing it on a bit of a diagonal. Stop, let it completely refill. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. So yeah, just one actually one column of this is enough um, to be making at the uh, at level and now I'm, I've got 42 stone here uh, let's see if the stone is being destroyed or something I, I haven't been watching the stone let's so uh, what is it? 42 Where'd the stone go? Let me put, uh, uh, well, our stone is right there, so I stand here and I go. We're getting cobble. Because I don't have, because this isn't a silk touch axe. Aha! I hadn't even remembered that we'd only make a, made a fortune pickaxe so far. It was always on our agenda to make a silk touch, but, uh, okay. This machine can be one smaller. Wait, something's on fire. Yeah, so we do still have that, and we don't, mm-hmm. This machine can be one smaller, and I'm gonna make it one small. I'm not gonna just live with it because we've, we've done it this way. I'm gonna make it tighter. So I'm going to recollect this, and that will mean we get back, uh... Uh, we get back a bunch of copper. Um, and we'll be able to actually seal off the smaller version. But it looks like four is fine. Uh...
Uh, and that is an efficiency 5 axe and everything, so it's not going to get any... It's not going to need any more. It's not going to get any faster than that. Except for, I think, in theory, we might get some mining efficiency out of uh, converting it to... to... netherite. Yeah, to netherite. Um, but it being a three-banger now, it augurs for maybe uh, we put it, like, in the middle, as opposed to on one of the sides, because it was going to be four wide, and it made sense to have it, like, aligned with one of the doors. But I think I want it here now. I think I'll rip the whole thing down now that I know what I'm building. <laughs> And, and we'll, we'll do it right. Um, I'm going to have issues with all this water, though. Uh. I love you. I absolutely love the mechanic of just click on a sign and you're stuck into that interface. That's great. I really thought the shit through, didn't they? And then finally, these two. And now I can rip it all down. with an excess of copper stairs. But I'm sure we'll find use for them uh, in all of the different uh, factory-style things we end up building. In fact, maybe I'll, I'll try, I'll make an effort to use them up. Um, so it's going to be a three-wide kind of a thing. Uh, I want to leave a little bit of a gap this time, now that I know what I want, and I really need another bed over here. I had pulled the three wool out to make another bed, and then apparently I put it back, I guess, because I ain't seeing it in there. the three wool from the window to the wall uh, bed I need I need more but I don't know where oh there's the second bed cool that'll be all the beds that we want over there for our two guys when we move them over and other than that, I should have everything that I need in my inventory. Since we did just make the thing and then tear it down. Now I know. I had never made a uh, stone generator before. Now I've got a design in my head that I can use every time. Uh, and what I'm thinking is, so I want you to be able to walk behind this. So, in the effort of trying to, like, use the stuff up, this is, this was my thought. That was not my thought. If I made it just, it's right on the floor. You need... Now you need the inner one to uh, to push water towards you, right? Um, but this can be like this. It'll just look look nifty. So there's the water. One, two, three, four is how much stone we want to make. Okay, and then. The sides of this need to feed water, but it will only need to be fed from one side. 
Uh, so, just thinking if there's another way to do this, and uh, it's fine. And just for the symmetry of it. I'm so used to creative mode. I'm double tapping. <laughs> double tapping uh, space to, to fly to get to where I need to be there. So if it's just right on the floor this time instead, uh, go ahead and have... Give me, give me the... Oh, I can't pick it up because we're full of in, um, inventory, probably. Uh, mm -hmm. Like that. And so now the water will push toward me. Uh, so that I can pick it up. And then how many... How many more of these do I have? Do like that. And then, uh, <laughs> actually, I will have it in the ground like that. Um, but let's make the, uh, let's convert that as well. Like that. That's like that. And then the message can be, um, you know, um, uh, caution, no erections during, uh, stone collection. Because <laughs> you're going to be standing right here. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so there you go. And that should push it all toward us, and then I just load up the the walls. Oh, just one side of the walls, even. Although, I don't know, maybe doing both sides, uh, maybe there's a benefit to it, who's to say. I guess you're down to the, um, the speed of the lava, really, is the thing. Yeah, the lava speed is gonna be the thing that's, uh, it's holding you back there. So now that's ready to go, and then you just need one lava uh, up there after we figure out how to seal this in. So you back to four, and then you on something. Okay, so I've only got six left of this. You wanted to use it up. Yes, it did. So, if I do... Like that. Why is that sealed? Looks like it did. That's five, and then you've got one that you're missing. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. It would look better the other way around. Like, forget about the interior. Let's, let's do something nifty with the exterior, uh, which means placing you like that instead. And I can make more stairs in order to 
Carry this around. Yeah, that's looking neat. And then the, uh... Lava. Fuck it. Lava ends up tucked in right underneath there. Cool. I need one, two, three, four, five stairs. Three, four, five is what I said, and then the copper is going to be... Where did the copper go? Okay, I did have just enough space in my inventory. I said five, and then I got there, and I was like, did I do that wrong? <laughs> Did I count to five incorrectly? Again. <laughs> All right, and then the lava goes there. Uh, and then once, okay. Okay, no, I planned, I saw this coming. This was always, yep, part of my... <laughs> and, yeah, the lava is just right fucking there. <laughs> feel like you could use maybe a, a copper trap door there just to feel I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab a copper trap door. I think it'll be neat also just to empty the inventory out a little bit more. Throw down our beds. Um, I don't know where these guys sleep exactly. Since it is the finishing touch, I'm going out of my way to, like, not use the thing until I've put that in place. Should be up here. We should have one extra. Yep. Uh, and I love the, you know, industrial look that we, we end up getting out of stuff by making it out of copper. She needs something to build off of. There you go. Oh, that's so good, too. You can walk around behind it. Alright, now, does it work? You know, that kind of important thing. doesn't work because the cobblestone is, is getting locked up over there and not actually falling into my my pusher there uh, which can be solved I mean you can just walk past it here but it can be solved by symmetry which is probably gonna bother us anyway can be solved by symmetry, um, simply by making sure you get the right thing, and it should be this level. There you go. Two, and then two more. Uh. Yeah, okay, I've done that right, and... A lot of it is being burned. Yeah, that isn't, that isn't good. That isn't doing what we want. So, we're not 
We haven't figured it out yet. Um, but I can now sleep without having to go home. So the best invention I've made today is this bed. Um, what am I doing? I'm gonna go... I was gonna go over there for some reason. Oh, for food. That's right. That's how my brain works now. Every four seconds I have to remind myself, I have to think again, what was this that I was about to do? Ah, there's my extra bucket! Haha! -ha. We knew it was gonna be somewhere. Um... And we have no food left to cook. I did, however, do at least a little bit of cow. I did breed you guys once. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, hey. Um, I did do a breeding. That's eight cow, and it gave me 31 meat. That's, that's just fine. Throw the meat in, and, uh, like, kind of, fuck it. <laughs> uh, give me another two, and I'll walk away and let you cook. Uh, so to keep... Keep the stuff from from jumping up into the into the lava and getting lost. If you have lava on one side and water on the other instead, which means it, it isn't three wide. You have lava on one side and water on the other. Then you can probably insulate it more from the pop-up effect. Are you always going to lose some amount of it though to lava? Because the lava has to be right next to the water and then when you pop it it has the ability to jump into the lava. Hmm. I'm actually, let's, let's look it up. Let's look up, and this is going to be kind of hard to find, I think. Hey, Brick Factories from last time. I mean, it might be super easy to find, but it could be one of those things where it's so kind of bullshit, or so simple. And you got a whole bunch of people suggesting, like, this is how you should do it, and that's how you should do it, and they're all wrong. Uh, except for the one guy who you can't find because he's underneath all of the other people. Um, max rate cobblestone generator. Manual cobblestone generator max efficiency. Let's see what this Hello and well 20 minute long thing is about. Let's just look at uh look at what we got here. So same put a little here. bit just barely in there. On this side, you have your uh, on this side, and then you have a little gap here for the water to flow into. If you don't have this gap, the water will flow to make contact with the lava mm -hmm. and obsidian ruining your device and you stand here and you click away and you continue to mine however there is already a problem with this setup as you can see as my character is punching and that is that you don't make it to the end if you don't go fast enough so you can see 
We have the hate You're also in effect. creative mode, you silly man, so who gives a damn? Um, I see he's done a 21-minute episode on a thing that could be answered in two minutes, and this is what I was saying. This is what I was thinking would be problematic. And once you've done that, you can already just come in and put the water on this side, as well as this side. And then your lava in above. I just made a source all the way across, but you can spread your lava differently if you are low on And then how the, how the fuck does this work and why does it have to be so big and what what the hell? Or you can more strategically place these to save on that lava and already you are done. Now as I said there is some loss and what I put here in the golden carrots will be one experiment that I will do. Okay. Yeah. See that's the kind of jack off shit you get. Top top result on manual cobblestone generator uh 21 minutes long uh, we're gonna do a multiple series of experiments today in order to figure out something that somebody else has done in one fucking minute this looks like what i built this is the easiest automatic cobblestone and so is really just the issue here, if I put hoppers underneath it, then they'll suck everything up. That's exactly how I did it. And then you're sealing it in. And then we put one block of lava on top, and it does that, and it's four long, and this is exactly what I figured out. The only thing that I didn't do was with the hoppers. And then, yeah, the F3T trick. Okay. See? Now that's what you want. Um... Let's find out if it's true that hoppers are all that I need in this design. I, I love finding out that, you know, I came to the best solution uh, on my own. Uh, but actually, he doesn't use any water uh, underneath here. That's the only thing that's different. I was going to try, I was trying to push it to me. And instead, we're just going to collect it all with hoppers, and we'll find out whether or not that is the truth, and the way and the light. Ugh, fucking dirt my ass. Um, so if that is going to be the, the way of things, then... Um, for you, and then you over here, I guess, you there, and let's do that instead this time, and fucking, and then it's just all hoppers underneath there, which means a whole bunch of iron that we don't have, fuck, <laughs> oi, 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 um, what I can make is the chest. Yes, I love that. That will end up going there. And then we just need four hoppers that feed into there. Hi! Oh! You've Wandered over and taken a job that's not for you. I've got two guys that are going to come in and take these jobs later there, bud. So, yeah. Um, here's another thing. Let's go ahead and have another chest. Fucking fuck. What the fucking fuck? Into that hole. You put that there, and then this is a place for me to just shove shit. Like, and, and there are certain things that are, you know, being used over here. Uh, yep. And then you're out of there. Dramacian, back with the 61 months, five years and a month. You're still going? I thought you were going to check out after five years. Now you got to go for another five to get to another nice round number like that. Uh, so what have I missed, Sister Mason? You've missed um, the creation of a simple cobblestone farm um, where I reinvented the wheel 
uh, in order to, I figured it out for myself, is another way of saying that, um, except for, uh, now there's just, we need, um, we need, see, I got the lava up there, and then we got the, the it's made by there and whatnot, we need the, the, with the thing and this stuff, we need hoppers, and we're completely out of iron, and all of the territory underneath my world has been sucked up for all of its time. We went on an iron trip already today. Um, but what you haven't missed, Jermaine, is you haven't missed me making the uh, giant uh, clay farm that we're going to make today. Who? <clears throat> it's fine. That's how I wanted it. That's... It's a okay. Uh, you with the stone cutters can go in there. All right, so we need iron. We still needed iron. We're gonna make another trip into the uh, into the underworld. Before we do, let me just lay down the rest of the rails that I'm carrying around. There's a zombie under me. Apparently, it's very close by. Lay down those. I got these two. Uh, powered rail gonna be here. No, I can't get out. I'm a genius. Uh, and now these fucking things need to be back on the hopper with the grass. Uh, and then grass there as well. Powered rail. So that will go up there when it's time for it to go up there. Will it though? No, now it's gotta be, it would have to be back now because of how you've done this. You just need to get these guys over in this general direction. Don't even fucking worry about this, okay? Like once you get them out here, you'll be able to control them with their job placement. Fucking hate this game. <laughs> the, the more I play it, it's fine. It's all working. We need to go on an iron run. So let me empty my pockets a little bit. Fuck it. Uh, nope. One lower. Um, yeah, things that I thought I was using today, and I probably will get back to using. I'm just gonna lay them all out over here without thinking about it. Keep making that mess that we keep making. You go. You're supposed to be on. Oh no, that's right. We swap in and out. But well, we're going mining. So yeah, you as well, don't need that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, we're going mining, he said. No, you can do that. Go ahead and keep him there. It's not late enough for me to sleep, huh? So what I would like to do for mining I got these two guys, two Dramasian, they're, they're healed, zombie villagers, so if we can get them over to the factory and get them the jobs I'm gonna give them, that's, that's part of the plan. What I would like to do, for mining, is find that area that we got lost in that one time, because I don't think I, uh, mined that out entirely. And I remember the entrance to that being very, being sort of part of this, like back here, right? Go out back here, and this just takes me to that other area that we got lost and I couldn't figure out how to exit before, yeah. So over here, 
we have a better chance of finding some iron. I'm gonna go this way. I turned to the right to get in. Remember that. And look at all this clay. We're gonna we're gonna make a clay farm, and we've got all of this clay just here waiting for us. What is wrong with me? Right? Nope. Oh my god. Sorry? Oh, you're the bullshit shovel. Oh my god. Alright, so far we've collected one iron. Put it on the hot bar so we can see our progress. Boy. Some iron we didn't collect, and some gold. And some iron, and some everything. Lapis. Thank you. Like it was. Okay, up to thirteen. And we'll need some redstone. More gold above me. Just a quick trip. Don't want to be down here for ages. <laughs> Man, this area is rich in gold and not so much for the iron, huh? I guess I need to explore a little bit more when I see the single iron. Didn't bring a lot of food down here, did you, buddy? It's fine. Uh. It's so hard to see the torches to, you know, pull them back out and stuff. Or to follow them back out, be able to. Um, yes. Take your miracle ink. Okay, you you did trick me. Congratulations, You're convincing me to come down here. any iron is on the way out. Frequently you just walk past the stuff. Hole showing. Oh, it's the most iron I've seen in my entire life, apparently. Hit me with a Fortune 3, and, and it's barely coming in, you know? So there's just nothing here. I 
guess we're going back. The way we came. It's rather dark down this corner, isn't it? <laughs> I could hear you. Uh, I have been down there once before. But, uh, exploring off in that direction should probably come up with some iron. Let's stay up here. Uh, and, and make sure that I, you know, because I definitely hit whatever we saw while, while we were here. But we also need copper. Yes, sir. So yeah, this is a this is a trip. We've, we've gone out to the store. Let's let's make it so we don't have to come back for a couple of years, right? There's some iron. Yes. I really don't need lapis. Eventually you'll come up with some reason why all you need, all you want in the world is lapis. And I'll be happy that you did a little bit of extra collection. Yeah, we're coming up almost on the four-hour mark, and at the four-hour mark, I want to start building our, um, our, after a live stream break, we'll have a live stream break, uh, in about 18 minutes from now, is the plan. And, uh, and then we're going to start building the clay farm, the automatic clay farm, which, as you can see, we desperately need, I mean, where else are we going to get clay? <laughs> Where else could we possibly hope to get clay? Listen, I designed it before I turn it into a YouTube video and make a million dollars off of it. I should, you know, make it for myself once in my own world, right? <laughs> designed it with a little bit of, you know, I, I'm referencing someone else's design. The hardest part of the clay farm is making the mud, um, getting the timing of uh, how to feed. Okay, that's that's some that's some copper. All right, it's uh, getting the timing. for how to keep a, a dispenser working correctly, making mud. Because dispensers, apparently, I, I had never fussed with them long enough to, to really know, but uh, apparently they are just like RNG is how they work. They're, they're completely inconsistent. They don't pull from a specific... Um, slot or anything like that is, is apparently what's going on there from what I was dealing with while I was trying to design my own system. Uh, and so the main thing that I got from, uh, from the YouTuber uh, Jackson something, I've got it open another tab, I said it at the beginning of the live stream. The main thing I got from them was like a, a mud making setup that actually works and my problem was that I was uh, trying to overcome the dispenser instead of trying the, the issues of RNG with the dispenser instead of, um... Aha! Another guy. Instead of using what I knew in the game would work. I was thinking in terms of, you know, in a survival environment, non-creative, you don't want to have to make, like, Stacks and stacks of stuff to to fill up inventory spaces and whatnot. 
And, you know, when it's the best solution, it's the best solution. And it's the best solution. It just is. Hi. Um, so when we get to that, you will see what I was... What I'm talking about. Uh, hi. I was trying to hold the block thing, and apparently I pressed, uh... Goodness Christ. Just step away from everybody turning me into a pincushion, Bell. Yep. I knew you were there. I heard you walking, but this is getting dangerous. I have to get the hell out of here, is what I'm, what I'm saying. I'm now out of food, and I can't restore my health, and I'm three hearts down, so we're leaving. Luckily, when we start walking this way, everything gets so incredibly lit up that nothing can spawn. How you die in a hardcore seed is you run out of food and uh, th 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 this. This is how it happens. <laughs> you gotta maintain a healthy amount of fear. How many times will you infect them just to heal them for a better deal? Uh, once we set ourselves up for it, many. <laughs> But uh, as of today, um, I'm just going to go with the, the one zombification. And I'm turning them into masons, which is not the best thing that you could do with these guys, but it's just that's the theme of today. That's what we're doing, so I decided that would be how we end up using them. We also we need to turn my pickaxe into silk touch before that would be useful. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a thing that's been that you've kind of overlooked there, friend. Uh, okay, upstairs. Um, and let's do some smelting. So iron. Iron and iron. Uh, no buckets. Another one. Uh, copper. Should probably put this on the copper. I put that guy on the copper, actually. And then we picked up some gold as well. Uh, so, first we need the iron. There goes the, that. Our, our main thing is needing the iron uh, for our hoppers. Um, which means I'm also going to need... Uh, one, two, three, four is how many I need, so... I need eight logs worth of wood in order to produce four chests to go with the four hoppers. There's our first two, and then we just need two more. And I have... Oh, I put it away, though. But I do have another tip that we could be making, um... Making all five of these. I'll worry about those in a, in a later. Seven. And... There's our four hoppers. Let's go finish off the simplest of all <laughs> automated 
majiggers here. First of all, semi-automated even majiggers. Uh break you in order to get access to the back here. Oh no, that's so the way that I want it to go. Yeah. Alright, so you go there, pick you up, I can rip this up. So I can get access to the thing, and then you back on four, like that. Put you in from the other side. Balls and balls. Uh, so you're gonna do that, and then... Now the hopper should be directly underneath it. Because you're not doing water anymore, so they should be right there. And then this goes there. Yeah. So. So that's how that, that works. And I don't necessarily need these under here. But look at me do it anyway. Q. Whatever. Okay, and now when I hit these. Uh, I had a sign that I was using before. And, and now it's gone. There, there should be another one in here anyway. Uh, so... Actually, it would be... it would look better... Yeah, it would look better if I... if I had another one of those. Which just takes copper ingots. And then I put you there. Huh? And then that'll hold the water back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. I mean, whatever. It's doing the thing. And that's 32. Alright, so let's count them up and make sure that we're getting every single one, if that's the case. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 6, 6, 8. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, we have 39. <laughs> let's hit one more. Now that's 40, okay? 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4. There is some loss. There, there appears to be some loss involved. Uh, fifty-nine, sixty, one, two, three. Or maybe I just miscounted. Four. Let's, uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And... There is some loss, apparently. Certainly appears to be. If I walk past the sides... Yeah. There is some loss, but it's a very minimal loss, and this is, this is fine. Uh, now we would need our pickaxe to actually be silk. Or, we need a pickaxe that is silk. Anyway, so silk mending in efficiency 5 is what we'd be looking for. Right? And unbreaking three silk and all those things. Uh, five minutes until our first uh, 
for our second live stream break here. By the way, I haven't lost track. Let's have you be there. Pull out the copper. Throw in the copper. Put you back over there. Uh, and then leave a bucket of lava in your belly. Oh. Should have another bucket somewhere then. Ah, there it is. Okay. So. Need more food. Let's go get the food. I think I've got an extra diamond pickaxe down here. That is already efficiency four. But what I would want is to is is the silk. And I guess I could go training uh, guys again for it. We'd need money and books, and we don't have money right now. So how would I get money? By farming. Right. I want to, so we're just going to leave off of that. We will come back to the getting ourselves a silk pickaxe. Um, because when we come back from this live stream break, regardless of the other balls that I've left juggled, unjuggled, <laughs> um, we're going to... We're going to build the clay farm, just because I want to. Shouldn't shouldn't take too long. I'm pretty experienced in making it now. The main thing will be um, having having uh, blocks to to make it out of, really. Because uh, I know what I made it out of in my creative world, and it was copper again. And I like that. I like the idea of making it out of copper. You know what? I will want some yellow glass. And with these last couple of minutes before we go to live stream break again, I can get us set up with some yellow glass. Uh, for which apparently I'm going to have to cook up some sand. So, give me a stack of sand. It's the wrong side. Stack of sand, bucket of lava. I've got two dripstones, so we've got enough to start restart the dripstone farm. Uh, it should be in here. Yeah, so give me that point of dripstone. Oh, I went up the wrong one. I'm going to, like, color code them eventually. I, I've thought about, you know, with either with signs or something. So that I won't get turned around so easily. Uh, but yeah, can I just put that there, and is there a lava in the middle? Did I put a lava in the middle? I don't think I put a lava in the middle of that. Um, and I don't have a lava on hand, either. Yeah. So, you guys need to make me a lava. And then I can... I might have put a lava in the middle of that. I, I remember struggling. I'm going to leave that there and forget about it forever. Alright, so... One more glass. With a yellow flower. There they are. 
You need a dandelion. Nope. Get you out of my pocket. Uh, and then... Yellow stained glass. That may or may not be enough, but it is part of what we will need for the best... Um... The best automatic clay farm you ever seen. A stack of sand, a bucket of lava, and a pabst blue ribbon. Yeah, that sounds like a weekend to me. Um, that is part of what we will need when we come back to... Thank you for the 100-bit cheer. Um, when we come back from this live stream break, we will be building a... Um, a lava farm. A lava farm? A clay farm. That is based on a farm made by Jax and Wild is the name of the uh, of the YouTube channel. Uh, that's where I'm, uh, you know, where I started this from. But I have modified it significantly uh, and made it uh, more efficient, uh, made it function faster. It actually works faster than the the version that Jax and Wild uh, did. Uh, so stay tuned, and mine, in theory, which we may or may not even approach today, because of all the resources involved, can um, produce clay at an amount uh, up to 500, and maybe it's like 550, I think, clay. Uh, it can dry all that out for you. Gonna need a lot of pointed dripstone, I'll tell you that. So today we're making a mud farm, is basically what we're gonna be making, because we don't have any dripstone. But uh, we're gonna do that, and if you, you want to see the best ever clay farm that you've ever seen, stick with me across these seven minutes. Don't go anywhere, pawn not out. <laughs>
Hello, I am the Ronan Pawn, and welcome back to twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn livestream on twitch.tv slash Ronan Pawn. <clears throat> We're Minecrafting today, and uh, been bouncing around a little bit all day long, is what I would say. Been bouncing around a bit in here. Let me just wait a second and see that you guys can see the screen. You can indeed. Um, between a whole bunch of different little tasks that have all been building up to... Yeah. let's and, drink until our hearts stop. In theory... Uh, thank you, Jermaine. I, I got a drink during the live stream break. But, you know, you... You spent a hundred potatoes, so... <laughs> I'll have another little sip. Yeah. Um... Hey, another eight of those. Let's make another little stack of yellow glass because what we're preparing for at this point is uh, is to make a clay farm, an automatic clay farm that uh, I have redesigned from someone else's designs um, to be more efficient, maximally efficient. I'm pretty sure as fast as you can do this, uh, what we're going to do. I think is what I've figured out. What am I doing? You are getting some yellow flowers, which were in the chest, right there. It's it's. Look at that with the number over top of it. It's like it might as well not be there, right? It's just it's, it's two thirds of a sun is all that that is. Two thirds of a yellow dot is all that you got there. Um. Yeah, we might want more yellow glass. Eight is... Actually, eight isn't enough. Well, yes, yes, it might be. I don't know. Fucking take two. We're, we're having some extra anyway. So, we're going to start building that right now. We're going to build it. We're not going to start building it. We're going to start and finish it. Um, and... And that means we're going to need a bunch of copper. We need a bunch, a bunch of copper. Uh, yeah, and I'm also going to need some of this shit out my inventory. So, you go over there. Is that done with that? Yes. What else have I got? I got lapis lazuli falling out of my butthole? I gotta do something about that, too. My butthole is... You definitely don't want as much stuff falling out of it as I seem to have. <laughs> uh, blocks of copper made and then cut into into cut copper and then we can split them again as we need into half slabs okay uh sure and then some half slabs i don't want the waxed stuff Try and set us up uh, ahead of time here so that we don't we don't end up having to stop in the middle and come back. So that's, that's some copper we got there. And it's not that big of a thing, either. Like, it ends up looking big. Because it's actually a huge thing. It's The dimensions are 18 by 18 by 16 is the smallest measurement, I believe, for this design that I've come up with. So, it is sizable, um, but the amount of it that you're building uh, that is actually the machine part is actually very small. And then it's just all of the area that you need for drying your mud into clay. Uh, so, I need to empty out here before we go any further. I want my ends. I need to empty out glow ink sacks. <clears throat> what do we got? Where can I... Surely I, there's stuff that I could stack. Ooh, mossy car carpets! Um... I can swap those out outside, so we're keeping those on me. Um, but over here, you can have my tuff and my cobbled deep slate and my granite. Uh, and then all that stuff, the redstone... Let's 
here. Uh, we actually will need to make some some redstone stuff. Actually, we'll need. It depends on how much of the design we get to, so I, I might as well just bring all the redstone. Uh, yeah. Uh, an azalea. Flowering azalea. Well, seems like the kind of thing you could eat. I'm gonna throw you in there. Um, spruce sign. We won't need signs at all. And the lapis. Just gotta empty out here. Copper trapdoor, I will need a trapdoor, and just one, that is correct. Got a whole bunch of iron on me, that couldn't hurt. Uh, my bow. Put you over there. Uh, stack you guys up in such a way. What's such a way? That. Yeah, actually, I'm going to put you over here, and then, like so, we'll be able to flit in and out of those two while we're building. Um, flip you like that. This looks good. So, things I'm going to need off the top of my head. I'm going to need... Mm, grab me some... Well, actually, I will need a bunch of mossy cobblestone. We'll grab, like, two stacks to start. We'll grab two stacks to start. It'll be fine. Um, I need regular cobblestone, right? Because a lot of the redstone stuff is made out of that. In it. In it, though. Uh, also, a lot of the stuff starts with redstone torches. So let's just make redstone torches. And then... Alright, so how do I make, like, a repeater? We're gonna need repeater. That's out of stone, not cobblestone. Right, well, I did cook a bunch of stone up a minute ago, at some point during the stream. See, it was all building to here. I just need to figure out where the hell I have it. It's probably still upstairs. There's four of the stone. Did I take it over to the factory, perhaps, and leave it there? Or, or, or it's in that, that chest that you threw a whole bunch of stuff that you were carrying around in. Yes, here, here we go, stone. Uh, mm -mm. Okay, so, back to here, back to redstone. Uh, redstone repeaters, how many will I need? You will need one, you will need two. Uh, there's one there, and then there's one there. For the minimum design, we'll need two. Uh, droppers? I will not need any droppers. I will need a dispenser. Um, how do we make a dispenser? I think you need a, yeah, a bow. How do we make a bow? <laughs> uh, which side of the building am I on? Like this? Aha! Cool, a broke-ass bow. I should, as long as the game doesn't complain that it's a broke-ass bow, then... Um, dispenser. Cobblestone. Which I have. Does the game... It needs it to not be a broke-ass bow? It's gonna be a prick? No. I mean, yes. But why wouldn't you... Yeah, it won't let me make it without making it... Maybe because I need to... No. That's, that's odd. That's odd. So we will need actually two dispensers. Yeah, I had the recipe and everything, so I think if you don't have a, if your bow isn't a full bow, then it won't come up in the... This, this, this is, this, this is the game, man. This is, they've got all the money. Then it won't come up? Is that, is that a thing? I'll need two dispensers. Um, I will need a hopper. I will need two hoppers, two more hoppers. Oh, uh, so... 
all of that into wood uh, to make two chests, and then two hoppers. Uh, I will need redstone torches, two of those. Uh, and I will need redstone dust. And I will need pistons. Which are cobblestone. It's just wood that I lack. Uh, it was just... W yeah, there they are. And I'll need a bunch of them. So... Six pistons. One. I think I'll need eleven pistons. Uh, and what we're low on there is cobblestone. Uh, shit. I am out of space. And everything that we are carrying is wanted. It's fine. Uh... So I've got how many do I? I got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need more wood. Eight. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So there's the, that, and. There's that one, and there's that. This seems... I need, I need a third repeater. I need a third repeater. Uh, so, another torch. Yep, three repeaters, and then I still need to have the two redstone torches. That might be it. Observers. I do not need any observers until we get on to the advanced portion of the build. <laughs> uh, that we don't necessarily have to do today, uh, and which gets super expensive super quick. But I think this is everything that I will need. Uh, can you stack dispensers? You can. Okay. Okay, okay. Can I sleep or something? No, it's, it's not it's not nighttime yet. Just loading my inventory was didn't didn't make it nighttime. Okay. Uh this is what I wanted to do. You should go inside, it's raining. This is what I wanted to do as we passed. Uh I wanted to Turn this into mossy carpet, uh, which is what I wanted from the beginning, because it's an outdoor thing, and, you know, I didn't want to just fake it with green carpet, but we did. So, the scale of the device we're about to build is immense. It will not fit in this building. Um, what, what is the interior of this building? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen... 17. It would almost fit into this building. If we made this building one wider, then I would be able to build it in here. Yeah. Um, but we weren't going to build it in here anyway. Uh, 18 by 18, and then it goes 16 up also is another thing. So this building would have to be very, very tall to store it, and I'm just thinking we'll have a completely different type of building wrapped around... Um, Wrapped, out, wrapped around what we build. Out here, it is turning night. It can be in the annex? In my mind, uh, you know, you, you have the factories, but then uh, you also have, like, the big machinery building that's just really a big, big square, big cube. Uh, to fill it all in. And maybe it should be right here. 
Because, I mean, it's the, it's the most... It's almost clear on that side. I don't know, that's very near the town. If I have it back here... Yeah, I just need to... Remove what little natural... <laughs> what little evidence that nature ever existed remains back here. My sports team won. Your depression is cured. All right. Is that all it takes? You just gotta start caring about sports? Damn it. All, all my entire life, I didn't know. I, I've just been, you know, on the verge of swinging from the rafters this whole time, and it turns out... <laughs> uh, welcome, Mephistopheles. For the next two days at least, congratulations. I know that it's... I know that it's it's as though you had won it yourself, right? It might as well have been that you were out there. <laughs> that's what I've... That's what, what television has led me to believe. You helped. You definitely helped. <laughs> uh, Detroit Car City, big buildings. You're a part of the team. Well, there you go. There you go. You are a part of the team. If you weren't sitting in that bar with that, uh, <laughs> that jersey on, half in the bag, shouting, Fuck you, ref! They, they would have lost. They, they, they wouldn't have... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what sport. It is. <laughs> but no, congratulations. I'm 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 happy for you. I'm happy for you. Sixty-seven thousand and a half people in that stadium were part of the team. There you go. <laughs> Now, only about 50 of the people in that stadium had in any way trained to be part of the team every day of their lives, but... <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like this again. Um, I'm just gonna just gonna clean up this is how we this is how you clean right you just kind of push it all into one corner and hope nobody notices <laughs> um, so I want there to be a fair bit of gap before we we hit this building in fact having like dug that out like that I might want this thing to be back here Now I can't climb it because of that. You were actually at the game, though, you're saying. Or were you just rolling with my with my gag of the the bar and stuff like that? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I like the idea of it being back here. It's easy enough to flatten this area off. Uh, we'll cut the line that makes it square like this. And we already know that the building's interior there is 17, so 18, 19, 20, 21. So, yeah, if we start on the center line, then we'll be close to these matching, anyway. Uh, did I cut the line? Yeah, you cut the line there. Uh, and then it will be easier to... To level this off. Have it be at the height I'm standing right now. 
I think. And like I say, the machinery part of this is actually very small and manageable. Uh, it's tight and it's efficient, and that is mainly thanks to Jackson Wagner, whatever I keep saying the name of the YouTube channel where I got the uh, the origin of this design that I've, I've modified from. Jackson something. Um... Trying to give credit. I looked it up, like, I, I made sure that I knew the name, that I had it up on screen so that I could reference it, and that I knew the name before, you know, at the beginning of the live stream, and then I said it, and, and, and I still remember the Jax part, anyway. Jax and Webb? No, that's, that's Mitchell and Webb, is what you're talking about. Why aren't you guys breaking down? Okay, you are. You'll get there. So, yeah, I'm gonna just backfill here. the line. Jackson Pollock, that's it. I'm pretty sure Jackson Pollock um, did the first design, and that's why it was actually so easy to sort of iterate on it and make it better. Um, I've found most of Jackson Pollock's Minecraft work is, uh, I don't know, it's just it's kind of messy. It doesn't look like anything, you know? It's just kind of, it's almost like like they're trying to not make art. Like they're trying to just just be completely random. That might be a little bit too deep of a cut. If you don't know who Jackson Pollock is, and even if you know who he is, you probably don't understand that that's the intention of the art, is to be completely <laughs> uh, devoid of, of an artistic statement. At least that's what Pollock is most known for, I believe. We are talking about the same guy, right? I'm not. <laughs> Jackson Pollock is the guy who, you know, flip, flipped paint at the canvas. Um, but did it, like, with, the in with an artistic intent that took him, like, a lot of time to uh, get to the point where... He had made art where the point of it was that it lacked an artistic, or that there was no art to it. That was at least part of the goal, as I understand it, was trying to make art that said nothing, that meant nothing, that had none of him in it, no expression of his self, that kind of a thing, uh, was, the, was the layer he was operating on. Now, I figure this will be our machine uh, corner, where the machine starts would be over here. And so you'll actually end up sort of riding it looking this way. Uh, so let's mark the corner. Let's leave a little bit of... Um, leave a little bit of room between that. Let's bring it in a little, actually. I want to be on this line. Let's not bring it that far in. Let's extend this out. Uh, yeah, right there will be, yes, this is where we will start to build. So, if you're taking notes on how to build this thing, Paul Jackson Pollock was born in Cody, Wyoming on January 28th, 1912. Yeah, pretty sure we're talking about this thing. Um, so. This is how we begin. One, two, okay? And then off on either side, all right? And then you can just get rid of this shit. You don't need that. You got these two like that, and we're going to make ourselves a little C from here. That goes... Uh, actually, I might want this to be a little bit forward. Yeah. So there you go. I've made a C or a U, however you want to look at it. So a little step up here. And then we're going to put a hump right there, okay? Uh, and from here, 
We'll have a redstone repeater going that way. We'll have a redstone torch um, there. There or, or the other? Let's put it on this side. I think it'll work out better. Okay, and then some redstone dust. Bang. Bang, bang. Uh, and then we grab one of our pistons. We put it in so that it's pushing this way. And we've made ourselves a pusher. We have just made ourselves a pusher. Uh, I'm just going to do that so I can get up at any point. Long here. That's all that it took to me to put pusher. These blocks are unnecessary. They're just sort of part of the way that I design it. And if we put anything here, it'll be pushed. Because the block ends up completing the circuit. This, this torch charges the block, and then the block uh, carries the signal over to the redstone. Uh, this, in fact, we're going to set this to... We're going to hit one tick on this. Okay, so this is completely closed. One tick. So that there's just a little bit of delay. That's the speed at which we want that to be working. Uh, but yeah, the uh, torch charges the block, the block charges the redstone dust, the dust carries it into the repeater, the repeater slows it down a little bit, which is going to be important for where this design is heading. The next thing that we do, so that's, that's step one, is just make that, don't worry about any of this shit, you make that. Uh, step two is we're now going to make the in-mudding device, the device that turns our dirt into mud. And before we do, I'm going to sleep the night away so things aren't creeping up on me. The youngest of five brothers, Paul Jackson Pollock, was born in Cody, Wyoming, on January 28th, 1912. His mother was a whore and slept with everybody in the town, the fucking bitch. <laughs> See, this is why we slept the night away. Um, so now we're going to place a temporary block right here. We're going to grab our pistons again. No, no, not our pistons. We're going to grab our dispensers, rather. And we're going to put a dispenser facing this way, facing us here. And then we're going to turn around, and we're going to have another dispenser facing what I think of as forward for this machine. This machine, that's the forward. You're going to end up... When we're uh, when we're done here, you're gonna end up uh, sort of riding the machine, looking this way. In fact, I've done this. I've done this the way that that he does it, not the way that I do it. Um, I have adapted this. So let's uh, yeah, forget everything that I've just shown you. <laughs> not everything, but some of the things. Um, the way that we're going to do this instead is like this. Uh, like that. Like that. So we're getting the same effect here um, of if we put any block here, any block that carries a signal that is an opaque block, it will carry that signal across there and it will feed into the, the, that and do that sort of thing. But you might have noticed also that um, that because we placed that dispenser right there, uh, it also fired. Um, and it fired faster, okay? It fired, we can get rid of that, by the way. It fired faster than this fired because the signal is carried across and goes straight into there immediately, but then this delays it coming into here. That's very important for the timing of this machine, uh, in case you care to understand how it works. Um, now we're gonna do a hopper. And we're going to put the hopper into there so that we get this dispenser dropping through and feeding into this hopper back there. Uh, now, we're going to need... Uh, you didn't see what I wanted you to forget because you were AFK'd? Perfect. Perfect. Ignorance is the best medicine. This is actually... Before I get any further, we're building kind of too far in this direction. Like two to three of the blocks that are part of the 18 by 18 footprint push out in this way. I might want to move the whole thing over by a couple. I think I'm going to move the whole thing over by a couple. Um, and the easiest way for me to do that is just like this. Uh, yeah. Before we get too far gone. Uh, 
Uh, and then there will also be one there, except for we want to preserve our, you know, use of, we want to use our blocks in a certain way here. Uh, in fact, should I be making all of this out of that? It won't hurt. On this side of things, it won't hurt. It will end up, it will hurt in certain places. Fuck it, don't, don't add to the difficulty of the design already. Uh, so... So, dispenser. No, not dispenser, uh, piston. I'll put the piston here. Uh, we'll grab our redstone repeater, put the redstone repeater behind it by one, tick it once. Uh, create a line that comes back to, back to there, and in. Um, and then we need one more. I mean, we will need that anyway, that's a temporary holder. Uh, we need our redstone torch right here. Uh, redstone torch. On that side of things. And that makes the pusher work again. There you go. Proof of concept. Then this is a temporary block that we put in place so that we can set a dispenser on top of it. Uh, and have one pushing, looking in the forward direction of the machine. It will make sense that that is forward um, eventually here, once we get to a certain point. We'll go, oh yeah, that, that is the forward, isn't it? Because uh, you're going to stand here and the whole machine is going to be kind of your dick. Uh, or ladies, you know, your dick um, is going to be like that. So this is the forward of the machine. So we face that one toward the forward, break the temporary block, shove in a hopper, uh, and then to complete this sort of redstone circuit, you're going to want a another redstone repeater right there. This one should be in the foot, the origin state, no ticks whatsoever. Uh, and then we're going to make a little bit of a partial tic-tac-toe design. We got the the X going on there. And need some more redstone dust. Beautiful. There's no... you don't need to turn it into a redstone dot. I'm just doing that because I, I like it. So, what's going to happen now when we uh, power the unit by pressing it like that, is that uh, the signal is going to go instantly into this dispenser. Okay, the dispenser is going to fire, do its thing, whatever it happens to do, it does its thing, but then the signal uh, that's been passed into the charged up the dispenser gets sucked out of the dispenser and gets pushed into this block. Now this block is charged up, which uh, charges up the redstone that's beneath it, which pushes the signal into this dispenser and causes this dispenser to fire as well. And because there is this guy, this repeater in the way there, uh, we also get that minor little, like, one redstone tick delay that means that this dispenser fires and then this dispenser fires. Um, yeah. This dispenser and then that dispenser fires. So there's just, there's, this is, this is the most brilliant part of this design that comes to us from Jackson Pollock. <laughs> from Jax and fucking whatever the name is on YouTube. Um, this is so crammed into one tiny little area uh, and makes what takes a whole bunch of logic otherwise happen. The only downside of, uh, of this design and it's a very minor downside, is that we're going to have to stuff this thing, stuff it, with um, glass bottles. Uh, we're going to have to shove nine stacks of, of 64 glass bottles in here. Nine full stacks of glass bottles are going to have to be in here. And then over here, just another half stack, but nine and a half stacks of glass bottles, which means I should have already had those cooking in the tower, but... There was a lot to think about, and I forgot that end of things. Um, but let's carry on. Uh, so we've got this dispenser comes out, and what's going to happen here uh, is when we're putting dirt here, imagine this copper block I'm about to put is dirt block. Um, what happens is there's going to be a water-filled 
a bottle, a water bottle in here that is going to, the dispenser is going to tick and it's going to turn the dirt into mud by applying that water bottle to, to this guy, okay? Um, then the bottle that's in there is going to be empty. It's going to fall through this uh, hopper um, into this guy, um, which is going to tick, but, but it's going to tick instantly and it's going to spit that out into a column of water so that uh, the so that that water bottle that that empty bottle becomes a water bottle then we're gonna have that column of water uh, lifted up and put it back into here uh, so that we've we've got a, a continuous cycle of water bottles um, that will do this thing and you'll really only need, I think it's four water bottles that, um, because of the speed and the efficiency, it's either four or five water bottles. Um, they will constantly recycle, they'll recycle so fast that you'll never need more than five water bottles. Except for, in order to make that happen, you do need to put in nine and a half <laughs> empty bottle stacks into this device. Um, but so yeah, it comes up to here. And then what was the other thing? We we're also going to need a hopper on top of this in order to reload it. Now, am I doing that in any tricksy sort of a way? I don't think I am. Yeah, no. We're gonna we're gonna do it just like that. Just like that. So we need a water column right here that this dispenser is going to shoot its empty bottles into so that they will uh, get full. Uh, so they will turn into water bottles again. So to make that column, we'll start like this on all the sides, uh, and then we just need to bring it up high enough where we can uh, route it into this guy uh, as well. All right, we need it to, uh, it's going, the water's going to flow over and dump it into, into that one. And this is where bringing the yellow glass out comes into play. Um, that needs to be there. But we don't necessarily need... What do we need? Yeah, no, you need to block off the water column like that. And then we're going to do the L. L the water in. Like this. So I brought yellow... The glass is yellow. Uh, because the machine won't work unless the glass is yellow. And if you believe that, I also have a bridge in New Jersey that... Uh, available for sale. Um, just to, just to, you know, make it cuter, gussy it up a little bit, uh, since we're going to have a, a column of water doing a thing here, why not be able to watch it? So we'll be able to see it there, um, and wouldn't it be nice if we could see it from the front, and wouldn't it be nice if we could see it from this side? Uh, well, now you need to and then I'll just recover this one. And this one doesn't need to be there. But we're just trapping the water. Whatever you gotta do to trap the water. Now, the only problem with this, you may have noticed, Jack and Wild Mud Farm. That's it. Jack and Wild. It, was I saying Jacks? I was saying Jacks. We got onto Jacks from Jackson Pollock. And I was saying Jack and Wild. I did say it three or four times. Uh, but this is my modification to it, and this is more efficient. Uh, it actually it operates faster, and it produces more mud, and drives more mud, because you get an extra column uh, after I've modified it here. The only problem that you may have noticed here, and I will pull this one back out so you can see it again, is uh, if we put water in here at the bottom, that's fine. If I were the, to then put that water right here, this is, a repeater will not hold the water back. The repeater is going to get washed away uh, by the water, and then the water will escape. So, in order to, you know, make that work, what we're going to do is continuously be fighting this thing to get on top of it. Man, when you're not doing stuff in creative mode, huh? <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a copper trap door, and we're going to put it on the inside, in the water column area. In fact, I'll probably be easier to just do this from here. We're going to attach this to the actual repeater itself. I'm on the edge of the repeater, 
And so this is on the inside. This is in the same area uh, as this water is. But it is a block that can um, be waterlogged. So we're going to be able to waterlog that, and it'll trap the water in there, and it, will, it won't disturb the operation of the machine. I'm going to need more water, and I might as well sleep the night away. Uh, I think in Jack and Wild's design, you actually need two trapdoors, and there's there's a number of things that I've I've just refined them is all. I've refined them. I've taken them to uh, to their obvious conclusion. Again with you, and then you're just helping me get up. Yep. Uh, oh, I only got one bucket of water. I'm a moron. Uh, but so now we can put water in there and it won't, you know, fall through out that way. Did I only get one bucket of water? No, I just could have gotten three. Right. Uh, so now I will seal that off. A little bit more water and I need one more and I could have actually brought it over and that'll push that there. This will be the last bucket of water we need, though, right? Leave so. Yeah. There we go. So uh, now, when something, when the bottle comes out here, uh. A bottle is, you know, lighter than... It, it, it floats. Bottles float. So it'll pop out here, and it'll slowly float up, and then when it gets to the top, um, the water uh, flow will push it over the top of this, and it'll get sucked back in. That is too slow, my friends. That is too slow. That is how Jack and Wild's design uh, did this in the first place. And it is... Um, it is a waste. It is a waste if you've got what we've got, uh, and that is a little soul sand. If you got a little soul sand, well, then you can turn that water elevator into a real water elevator and not rely on the fact that the, uh, the water bottles float uh, in water. You can force them up the way that I just got forced up by that water elevator. So, for the cost of all of one, not soul sand, but one... So soil, we need soul sand for one soul sand. We make a bubble column. Thank you, Mason. A bubble column. Um, I've also, like, the, the, the main change here uh, that I've made to this design is I've rotated a bit of it. I've turned it a little bit to one direction in order to make more room, which gets you an, an entire extra column. But uh, just by adding in this bit of soul sand. Uh, the speed of this thing now goes from in Jack and Wild's design, you have to run this thing like that. You have to run it so that whenever you place a, a block here, it goes like this. I'm going to try and line up and you'll get the feel. That's the speed at which um, Jack and Wild's runs. Uh, ours is going to run like this. Uh, so, pretty massive improvement, um, especially considering once you get to my even larger design that, that iterates uh, in a completely different direction on Jack and Wild's design. Um, you're going to be able to fill this thing with up to over 500 blocks. So you Jackson Pollocked, Jack and Wild's designed. Was... Is that... Did Jackson Pollock, was he known for... Stealing somebody else's shit and making it slightly better? Because <laughs> then, yes, that's what I did. <laughs> you got me. Um, but yeah, this is the machine now, and actually, this is it. This is, this is the main body of the machine. Now, we're going to keep going. Actually, before we keep going, I'm going to get... I'm going to go over and put a shit ton of glass on the fire, because we're going to need to make so many empty bottles. 
Uh, yeah. We need nine and a half stacks of empty bottles. You don't actually need nine and a half stacks, but you might as well make nine and a half for how much you're gonna need. You need nine and some, and I recommend a, a full half stack. But we'll get to that in a moment. So, I've already made what is it, 48 extra glass, which makes how many... How many bottles? Okay, there, empty bottles. Uh, so... 48 glass makes 48 bottles? Oh, that's a lot of glass. That's a lot. I mean, we've got sand. It's just gonna take a minute. I didn't... I hadn't done the math on that in my head. <laughs> if you don't have to think about it, then don't. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need nine and a half, so we're gonna need more sand than this. And, well, my inventory is jam-packed with shit. What can I put away? You can drop this cobblestone. You can drop some of that mossy cobblestone. You can put this stone away. Yes. You rotten fucking flesh? You got from killing something? Okay. And then the bottles you don't need to be carrying, but... Yeah, we gonna be... we gonna be cooking for a minute here. Uh, hell. Um, so... Put the bottles... here. And yeah, I guess we're gonna fire up all of you and... Uh, and pipe you in with a hopper. So that I can load more... that's not the right thing, it's, uh, it's the sand. There we go. Hey, the middle one is working! So, yes, we, we're good. We're good on that. Quit leaving your buckets behind. And I will just leave that one in there. Somebody will have to come back to do the thing, but okay. Okay, and we are making... That's all full. That's actually working. Alright, that's gonna be a minute. Is <laughs> what's gonna go on. I'll tell you what. I will take with us... The half stack. <laughs> that we're gonna... That we're gonna need there. And then, uh... And then, what have we got that's, like, really quite weird? Where's my, um, green carpet? Moss carpet. It's all that green carpet. Oh, it's in that other- it's in the other chest over there. Yeah. A bottle of whites. A bottle of red. Perhaps a bottle of rose instead. We'll get a table near the street. In our old familiar place. You and I, face to face. A bottle of red, a bottle of whites. It all depends upon your appetite. I'll meet you any time you want. In our Italian restaurant. I don't know that one. It sounds like a, uh, Jimmy Buffett song. You know, getting drunk with somebody. <laughs> it's kinda... <laughs> the main feature of this song is how much wine we're gonna drink. Sounds like Jimmy Buffett's kind of thing. What's that? What is that? Uh, okay, so... Actually, none of this is gonna work. I, I can't... I can't do... I was gonna preload this up. Um... But, of course, it's gonna fall through, is the problem. Yeah. Until we've, until we've jam-packed the other one. Uh, that one back there. 
with uh, with everything that it needs to be jam packed with. So that's not none of that's helping us. Um, so we'll just go on to building the next part while we're waiting for the glass bottles. So this is this is your machine, and this machine will produce you a column of of mud um, going off in that direction. If uh, if I drop, put this in, and we stand here, we go. All of this, if we had the bottles in place, it's Billy Joel. Okay would produce you a column of mud that is this long. Um, and, and you'd be a happy, happy person, wouldn't you? Um, but wouldn't it be nicer if you could make more than just that? Uh, if you could make like 13, 12, 13 times that kind of a thing. So we're going to make 12, 13 times that. Um, we're going to use one of these to get over here. Uh, so this is where the, the mud's going to be then we're going to have a bunch of pushers, a bunch of pistons, that are going to be able to push it, push it real good. Mm, da -da 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 -da. Push, push it real good. That is not the way, and I'm not going to get lucky this time, am I? Nope, you fell right off. She's no fun, she fell right over. There you go. So now you got all them pushers there. Um, having trouble getting to the top and around the sides. Just, just what you do. Hold on. What? What do I do? You, you, you take some of this, yeah, and you fucking make a walk away. Goes around the edge of it. Now to power these these pistons, you're just going to create a column behind it where you can put the redstone. You can put a line of redstone. Uh, let's have you down there. Oh, screw you. And this is where my design uh, immediately improves on Jack and Wilds. Um, Jack and Wilds, uh, because he hadn't, um, he built it very laterally, he built it so that it all flows to the right, you couldn't fit this pusher in here. So you would end up with not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'd actually only end up with eight, eight pushers. So you're getting two extra columns. I, I thought it was just one, but you're getting two extra columns out of my design. Uh, and let's sleep so that we're not being harassed by mobs all night. And is there something else that I needed from over here? Or, well, you have that, can't you? Yeah, we could also be carrying the cut copper slabs. It seems like I could probably be making some of this out of the slabs as well. But when you're messing with redstone, I don't know. It's my. It seemed like when you use slabs, they they behave differently than full blocks, and and unless you've designed specifically for it. Just leave it be. Uh, so the only thing is now, how and when are we going to actually power our, our pistons? And what we're going to do is we're going to basically do the same kind of trick that we did over here, uh, where we've got a redstone torch that powers the, the block above it and then pushes that signal into a block adjacent to it. Uh, So in order to detect when a block pushes over, you know, when we've got a block that is pushed over to the end. In fact, this isn't supposed to be here, and that's why I, I put that there. We want it kitty corner to this, or in other words, right there. Um, and we'll put a redstone torch on here so that it will power that block when there's a block there. And then we want to suck the juice out of that that block that's been powered. Uh, 
Uh, so in order to suck the juice out of that block that's been powered in and to give it the strongest signal strength. I think it's just to suck the juice out of it. We're going to put a repeater right there. We take this out by one more because we have to, because the repeater is sort of a diode and you can't attach to one side or the other. And then we bring this around, and so now when... When you get a, a full line... of what will eventually be dirt and mud, dirt blocks that have been turned into mud blocks here, uh, it will detect it, and that entire line of put, uh, pistons is going to fire. So, this, placing this block right here, should make all of that fire. Yep. There you go. Um... So that's the machine right there. That's the whole machine. And if you just wanted to make mud, then this would allow you to make uh, as much mud as these things can push, which I believe is uh, 12 blocks out, 13 maybe, counting the, the one that will get jammed here. If you just want to make mud, then this would do it. Um, but we don't want to make mud. We want to make clay. And if we want to make clay, then that means uh, we need to dry the clay. And I'm going to dry the clay with mossy cobblestone. Uh, so, any place where the clay could be drying, I'm going to put mossy cobblestone, even if it's not going to sit there uh, permanently. If I can be drying it, uh, even like right here, even up to here, because um, this block will be turning the turning that into mud. If I can have that block there, and I might not be able to, we'll see. But I'm just going to have it everywhere that I can possibly have it. I'm going to have mossy cobblestone in all these places. This is the first time in a long time I've seen someone use regular pistons instead of sticky pistons. Yeah, that's and we don't have the, the resource to do stick, sticky pistons. Um, if you did do sticky pistons, you could probably, you know, eke out uh, a even more efficiency out of this thing. Um, but it would complicate and, you know, turn this into a lot more resource-intensive, and it's already pretty resource-intensive. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is it twelve or thirteen that it'll be able to push away? I feel like it, it's able to push away twelve, but you end up with a row of thirteen when it jams. So I'm going to go out to thirteen. I'm not, not sure. So, this layer of cobblestone is just creating a surface upon which we'll be able to put dripstone underneath it. And the dripstone will wick the moisture out of the mud and turn the mud into clay for us. So it's just, we're pushing all of our mud onto this surface so that it can dry out. I think it is 14 block before it can't push. Well, it ends up being, at then then it's probably 13 is the number that I want here, because we definitely don't get 14 out of it. Um, so, that's probably, that's probably correct, is basically what I'm saying. That if it's 14, then what it means to me for building this is probably 13. And there you go. That's, uh, that's your spot. And actually, I think I've probably given us one row extra that we're not going to end up using. I mean, for now we can. For now we will. This is the design. Um, add drip stones to the bottom of this, uh, which we will eventually do. Um, but we're going to have to start farming dripstone fucking seriously. We're going to need to get real serious about farming dripstone. Uh, add dripstone to the bottom of this, and then pack... Um, this is the wrong shovel. And then pack up the, uh... Pack up your dispenser over there with, uh... With glass bottles, and this will make you, uh, a big old sheet of clay. Um, however, there is a, a massive improvement to be made to this as well, if you have an unconscionable amount of resources to put into it. 
and that is to basically turn this thing into a 3D printer <laughs> and start pushing your your layer of clay up as you go. And that allows you to stack with just one layer of clay. I should probably, should probably just like, yeah, give myself a, a layer outside of it so I can come in under it at any, at any position. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> It was super important. If you don't know this, then you'll never be able to, to build it. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm going to say. This is, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, oh, the 3D printer um, that will allow you to push up those 14 blocks from Mason Center. Or 13 is what it ends up being for us. And that will allow you to have this layer down here drying out. You'll be able to have uh, up... Uh, by another three, another layer, another layer, and another layer, just with one system of pushers. And you could continue to make another system of pushers that sends it up and up and up and have an uh, incredible column, where you just stand down here and feed dirt into it, and you end up with thousands of, of clay drying. But for just one layer, uh, you will end up with a total of 500 and something. I think close to, or, or maybe a little bit more than, right around 550. Uh, dirt you'll be able to push into this thing if we pushed it up and then across which would require a whole bunch more pistons you'll need a stack of observers you'll need a lot more redstone dust uh, and there's just there's a, a bunch more you know stuff that goes into it it's not it's not any more complicated than just making more rows of this and this system um, but you have to put it together in, in the correct way or else it, it won't be maximally efficient and it won't work. There might actually be a better way to do it than the way that I've figured out too. But, uh, I tried to, uh, to minimize my design even more and I just couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, I couldn't make it any, any simpler. Uh, let's go get some stairs. Uh, how many stairs do you want? I don't know. I can't remember what's ideal here. Just say I have eight. That'll probably be enough. Yeah, actually, I made this um, higher up off the ground the last time I made it, so that's why I thought I needed more stairs. Um, you will also end up with stairs right there. You'll want it there anyway. Because once you've got your uh, whole field of, of clay out there, you'll be able to walk up on it. Uh, right there? No. You take it one more out, Juan, and then that's where you want it. Yep, and then you'll be able to walk up on it like that. Um, okay. Let's go see how we're doing. I need to, I need sand, and I need to be making dripstone again. Um, yeah, we're, we're, by the end of the day, we're going to have an incredible mud-making farm, but we're not going to have, uh, where am I going? We're not going to be making clay because we don't have the dripstone for it. We're going to need so much dripstone. So I really need to get back into production on dripstone. How did you get all the way in there? Did he shoot one of my bees or something? I could have swore I heard him get damaged. Don't. Don't. 
be stuck. Uh, so let's get back into production on dripstone, which means I need the dripstone and the points. And we also need to keep the... Keep the sand producing here. So let's go ahead and turn all that. You don't have enough inventory space to do shit. Just drop these over there. Ah, and you're right back in because I left you running, okay? Give me this. Expand the dripstone operation. Uh, da, 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 da. and you there. We've got dirt, we got podzle. Uh, build it tall at least. 15 blocks tall so the points can grow big. Thank you. I need that kind of information. That is stuff that. Oops. I'm bumping the mic right now. That is stuff that I don't know how tall I should make it. So 15 blocks from the place where it drops is what you're saying. That's. Might be so tall that it doesn't want to be in our factory. I mean, we should just make the factory as tall as it needs to be in order to support that, but I'll have to take a look at it. Anyway, uh, go empty out some of your, some of your inventory here. Uh, wait, no, you might want more yellow glass out of the site, spruce logs. Pods all the dirt and shit. We will want a lot of dirt because that's what we'll be turning into mud sooner or later. Block of redstone. You and you go away. Uh, the yellow stays with me. The redstone torch. We don't need that extra one. I don't know why, but it makes sense for me to put you over there. Uh in my head, and then I've got this four green carpet, which is part of the glass pottle system, when we're actually ready for that. Grass blocks. Okay, all the stuff that relates to that shit go over day or done. Okay. Works for me, gets lots and lots and lots of point. Good, we're gonna need lots and lots and lots of point. I need my dripstone blocks. I have six of them. And I have one point of dripstone to start. Uh, back up here. Uh, wrong side of the room. Go ahead and pull all that out and turn it all into glass bottles. And we might as well bring all of our glass bottles over. I don't have any more sand than I can throw in. So now we're going to dig sand. We'll take this stuff over and then we're going to go pound sand as a friend of, dear friend of the family used to, used to use. Instead of telling you to fuck off, he'd tell you, go pound sand. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like really vicious to anybody else, but in my mind it's pretty vicious to say, go pound sand. <laughs> Was I gonna come? You were gonna drop this shit off. So let's start back here and I'll figure it out. So, we need to fill this some bitch up with glass bottles. And then, before we go digging sand, we should get ourselves set up with the dripstone, right? It's gonna take a while. 
Now, I need to know how tall, how tall we are at the tallest point of this building. If we want 15 uh, of space, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And the building can just be taller. 13, 14, 15. So is this where then I would hang the dripstone under this? Or would I go up one more and then hang the dripstone under that? Dramason. That's, that's what we need to know. Probably hang it under this, right? I can make the building that tall. And then actually I can just kind of hang it off the top of the building. Not exactly. I can make the building that tall. It'll be fine. Up one more. Okay. Well then, it'll have to be in the center of the building. Which is going to make for kind of a weird space here, but I suppose just the whole center of the building is going to be dripstone with maybe like a gap in the middle. Two wide gaps, so it'll be four here. Let me just mark it out. Four there, then a two wide gap, and four there. And so we'll end up with just eight. Eight dripstone growing columns. Can I move it? Yeah, like this. That's going to be the mark. Uh, so, one, two, wait, no, this is three. We're already at three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And you're saying go up one more. And so, 16, 4, 1, 2, and then, you know, it'll be 3, 4 eventually. Just for the sake of getting the spacing right. Not where I want that. I almost had it. <laughs> have to do this to get up high enough to pull it all down. Uh, oh, well, wait, you're not done, buddy. You gotta build a capture system for the, uh, for the water. So what I think we'll do... Ooh. Oh, no, we are going to make it out of... Out of copper, though. Yeah. Uh, uh, get your one pointed drip up there. And then the roof, is, the roof of this building was going to be copper. Building water tower, hey. So, maybe I should just start building the roof. Uh, and my idea is to have it, uh, have that lifted area where the hot air is supposed to pool and then, you know, vent out the building. So we'll have, like, single windows up there. But, uh, yeah, what have I got in my inventory for copper right now? You've got a number of coppery coppernesses. Okay, well... I'll need a lot more stairs, presumably. I hate to presume, but we're gonna have to presume here. We'll start with that, 
and I just want to like get a get a sense for the shape of it. But yeah, I, I love the idea of, of having it, like, connect to a, a rooftop water tower kind of a thing. It may or may not fit with the rest of the design that I had in mind, but we'll see. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I would imagine that we'd have a lip to start. Yeah, and I don't necessarily need to put that there. I uh, just need an idea of the shape here. So we'd have a lip to start, and then let's just start going up in small increments. We have it be kind of flat as it's coming out here. Yeah, this is problematic. A nice slow rise to begin. And then once it's out here, we want it to jut up and then have a sharper pitched roof kind of thing. That's that's where I am on the on the deal. And that should be made of brick up there as well, once we get up to there. So this is the roof part. Step down, grab that. Doors on this side. Yeah. Grab all this. So do I have any brick? Nope. No, I didn't get to brick yet. I can just use the, the wood for mocking it up. It's even plausible that it would be wood up there instead of brick because, you know, that's the center of the roof. You don't want to be putting that kind of weight on it necessarily. So the main question is, where does the rise start? Start it here. I think it probably wants to start here. That, that doesn't do the thing. Well, yeah, it does do that, doesn't it? That's what you want. Uh, except for this is supposed to be wood. Right. You damn fool. So, that. Maybe even that's supposed to be there in the long run, but... Uh, 
And then now that we're up here, the idea is to have that water run along it and just make it as tight as, as it possibly can be, which would mean that we want it like that. Yeah. Just fill the space. Like so. Nope. Nope. All of the places that I don't want you. Can you walk off stairs while you're shift, holding shift? I feel like you can. I feel like it's one of those blocks where the crouch doesn't actually prevent you from falling off of it. I'd like to be wrong. <laughs> All right, so what kind of height does that end up being? One, two, three. Perfect spot for you to put a uh, window in right there, a line of windows. Okay. Okay. I, I'm ready. I'm ready. I get it. Now I know what I'm going to do. I just need to seal some shit off. Here we go again! Right. Uh... Would the rafters of the building be copper or wood or seems like this should be like a log but I'm just gonna go with wood up here yeah nope you need to do it from the other side that's right that is right, isn't it? Uh, you're killing me. Yeah, don't do that. I'm glad that you didn't fall, though. I can use you. I'm not convinced that I that I won't fall off if I uh, walk off the edge, so I'm being a little bit more careful than I maybe need to. <laughs> Fuck! I just got rid of that one. Fuck it. Push, push it real good. So I'm just like extending the uh, the beam that would go all the way across. And I'm one short. <laughs> if I could, if I could only reach those, I wouldn't be one short. Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to stay there for now. And 
that's the one that we uh, we started on. Oh, I won't be one short. Shit. There you go. That's the beam that goes all the way across. This holds that in. We'd eventually use more copper stairs. Uh, but that's eventually. Uh, and this will be the tippy top of the roof line of the building. To there and you'll actually extend one over because it's a roof line and you're just not going to be enough I would drop down there and do this it'll be easier but then I won't be able to jump back up so a little bit more extending that way but we've got it and now I just need to bring up a bunch more water actually uh, so I will need here and there and everywhere round and round the rascal rippy robbie roo <laughs> there all of that is where the water goes okay now back to reality oops there goes gravity oops you won't have any <laughs> you won't give up that easy Beat goes on, but it don't it don't data. Is there anything else on the ground that I should pick up before it despawns? Now just a bunch more water. couple of trips getting up there, but... Oh no, I did the... Jeez, I can't even tell which one's got the dripstone on it. Yeah, it's the inside one, so that's the next... That's I need to do that one. I thought it was the one on the absolute end, but it was the other end. And then we'll have at least one dripstone will, in theory, have started. So, it's you. Sorry? Oh, I, uh... Yeah. I know what happened. Sh sure do. Oh, right! I forgot that this is how you do that. And then that makes infinite water up here. Silly boy didn't 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 occur to me and so now there's no pushing water there's no flowing water this is all water sources good 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 and now I can reseal dropping frames ooh yeah I see it too I see it too but I'm not dropping frames it's a twitch issue uh, Twitch issue. Uh, hang in there. And cross fingers. No drops on my end. Alright, so for the sake of the VOD, we keep going. I am uploading these VODs now. I'm not just sending them over from Twitch anymore, because the quality is so much better if I just upload it directly. And do let me know if you're there. Uh, let me know if I, I'm going to type, let me know uh, if it comes back. Because... Uh, even though I've got a stream preview open from Twitch, it's pretty, pretty untrustworthy in terms of showing me what I need to need to see. So we've got a bit of a mess up here. 
hanging in the middle everywhere. Uh, it backs. It's back. Yeah, see? So if you're saying it's back, I need to refresh my browser in order to see that it's back, making the stream preview almost useless. Twitch. That I have to refresh the interface to see that, yeah, that it's working again. Okay, cool. It is working again on my end as well. Thank you for the, uh, for the immediate, uh, notice, you know? I've been very frustrated lately that, uh, with so few people coming to the streams, and um, uh, there's just there's so many things that can and do go wrong that we used to have that used to just be like, ah, oh, people will tell me if there's a problem with that. If the audio isn't good, if the volume sucks, if, the, if I accidentally left something up on stream, it's a uh, it's a reminder that there are fewer and fewer people watching. And it has everything to do with, you know, what I'm doing, content that I'm doing, and, and also the uh, change in my overall energy. You know, I'm not putting on exactly the same show that I used to, but also, a lot of people just don't know we're streaming yet. When I finally produce a YouTube video, I feel like a lot of a lot more people will uh, pop in and, and be pleasantly surprised to find out that, you know, it's back on. The show is back a little bit. I would like to believe, anyway. We shall see. And uh, I'm just hoping that I won't be massively disappointed <laughs> in every, every, in all of you. It's, it'll be your fault. You just gotta blame somebody for everything. Right? It can never be me. I'm doing everything the way that it's supposed to. Okay, we got our first exposed co copper that we've ever seen. Uh, Go ahead and clean that back up so it doesn't take up an extra spot in my inventory. You are going to need to get back up there, Vaughn. And you just... I took down that part of this. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Did I get all of the little bits and bobs and ends and odds, though, that have fallen down? Hmm. Possibly, maybe. Okay, so now it's redstone, redstone dust. I got some spruce logs on me, I got some yellow, and I got this green carpet. That's all part of the the thing once we do it. Let's go over, stoke the fires on the glass bottles, and then we're going to have to go out and dig a bunch more sand so that we can cook more. Service ladder, there you go, thank you. That's how we do that. Not even thinking. Uh, stoke the bottles, stoke the fires. And that's everything that we had to cook in the first place. Turn them all into bottles. And now we're going out to dig sand, because I don't have any more sand to put in here. Right? Right? I do have more sand to put in there. And to hell with it, let's do it all. Let's do it up, do it all, do it all, do it up. So, stack there, stack there, partial stack there, give me back my bucket. Actually, make me do this? 8, 16, 24, 32, 40. You guys need to produce more. I'm surprised that five isn't enough. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're cooking some glass again. Uh, yeah, no, leave it. Uh, we're cooking some glass again. Now I need to just go dig sand. And we know exactly where to get sand from. Uh, but, as long as I got these bottles on me while we pass... Let's go drop them into the, uh, the underbelly of our machine.
just three, just four more stacks is uh, what we need. So four more stacks of uh, sand is what we need. boat over here but yep this is my sand pit where I've been pulling from as may be apparent by the, uh, the amount of sandstone that is now exposed to the point where I can't tell what's sand and what's sandstone This is gonna, we're gonna have like an exposed sandstone thing too. It's, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Uh, cause then I can start building stuff out of sandstone. Keep going, because I want all the sand that we need for this project, and then I want to be leaving a bunch of sand in my chests. It seems to be more efficient to take off a top layer than to do a 3x3 three three <laughs> column. That's what I'm finding out. Pound and sand. Ah, we're full. Is there anything I can sacrifice? Not really. Could throw your uh, shears away, but yeah, it's fine. This sand won't be close enough to despawn anyway. Next time we come out here, there will be sand waiting for us. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Looking a little bit weird up there, isn't it? <laughs> where, where are you going? I don't know. Just need to get back to the tower. And, uh... Are you the same dude that was out here a ages ago? You're not. Because your llamas... Disappeared on you. More blue ice available. I should buy it. I understand now why blue ice is a special thing. Uh, and it's because... Packed ice allows travel across it faster. Blue ice allows travel across it even faster. Packed ice takes a full... Full bit of regular ice, and blue ice takes a full bit of packed ice. So it's an incredibly dense and costly thing. And I don't have any money for it right now either. We need to, I don't know, do a farming run if I'm going to make that happen. First priority is the sand. Uh, go ahead and fill you up. That'll give me room to pick up.
Okay. Put more in there. Put more in here. Water in the nether is only possible as ice. Ah, that's another thing that I hadn't considered. Give me that amount and then they'll stack. There you go. Uh, looks like we got some more lava. The one who will need it soonest. My bucket's back. Hey, yo, where my bucket's at? And again. Stack it up. Now, how much more do I need? I said I needed four more stacks. That's one, that's two. So, one of these won't be needed. That'll be fine. To have just a little bit extra, it won't be a full stack, and we'll be able to store it alongside our potion stuff. Yeah, that's, that's going to be excellent. That's exactly what we wanted. And now I can reestablish my sand stores. Okay. Okay. And then what's the next priority? Shoot, there was something else that was like... We really needed to... Hmm. Oh, it was to, to do the trades with the villager guy to get the blue ice. Uh, which means we need money, and my best way of getting money right now is farming. So... Let's go ahead and do a, do a cut of the farm. This is a fortune tool, that's why I'm... I'm swinging it at my crops. I don't think it makes any impact on uh, on carrots and potatoes. I'm sure it only applies to things that give seeds in terms of crops, anyway. Um, what is it that we have the most of and need more? Did I completely bankrupt us? I completely bankrupt us. So we can do whatever the hell I want. And I think I'll do carrots on the outside. You just shake down the villagers for protection money. That would be probably fairly lucrative. That is a good idea. That is an investment strategy. I like it. Did I plant one in a place that I didn't want it? Seems plausible. Seems likely. Of course, we farm this way because if you read the documentation on Minecraft, this is the most efficient farm setup that you can have right here. It's got to have a, a layer of unused dirt around the edges of it, and you got to alternate the crops back and forth. This is the, the fastest growth, anyway. Comes this way. Uh, is it the most efficient? Well, that's a different. It's a horse of a different color. Because we are leaving several rows of farm unfarmed. <laughs> but I'd never done it this way, so I went I went in on it. Okay, so that's that. And now we got all kinds of pumpkins waiting for us. Let's go get the wheat. And now it actually will matter that I'm using a fortune tool. because it will increase our seed haul, which allows us to make more bone meal. Is there a way to, like, convert the, uh, 
whatever that type of dirt is that's that stuff the stuff that you can grow mushrooms on back to dirt if I just break that with a regular shovel will it turn into regular dirt and is there another way to do it where I don't have to set it back down and break it again because <laughs> we've got a chest full of a lot of different kinds of dirt and we're gonna need a lot of different we're gonna need a lot of dirt uh, for for making mud for making clay regular shovel will turn it to dirt okay that makes sense uh, nothing I could do on a crafting table though Or what if, what if I just put it into the machine, would, would, it, would the machine turn that kind of dirt into mud as well? Uh, that might be a thing. Can I just turn all those different kinds of mud into, or dirt into mud? Hey, nice to have somebody back to protect these boys except for me, huh? I've lit up a quarter of a mile. You believe so? Cool. Then we don't have to worry about it at all. It takes care of itself. I could believe maybe like rooted dirt won't turn into mud or something, but uh, I would have expect pretty much everything else to turn into mud. Look at all the bone meal we've got. And potential bone, bone meal and bone blocks. Alright, back up to our glass operation. Only think rooted dirt is different? Yeah, I could imagine that. And everything else should just turn into it, huh? Uh, up here. This could be enough. I think that's enough. I think that's what we need. Uh, I'm just gonna throw you in there. Let's go back out. And let's take some dirt with us. And let's take some funky dirt. Some podzel. Let's take podzel. I mean, maybe I should save the podzel and get rid of the grass. I don't... We're surrounded by podzel in this, in this area. Have... Have... Some podzel. And have some grass. Oh, look, I've got some mud already made there. Wow, look at that. It's a, it's a mirror image of each other. It's coarse dirt. So this is regular dirt, that's coarse dirt, and then we got podzel, and we got grass blocks. I actually don't have enough dirt, is what we're finding out here. Let me just do this, and this, and this, and this. That's more than we can use, too. Because it's not... I'm thinking about my big system. My big system. Let's go ahead and put... Not... Let's put half stack back. No, you... I was trying to get that to happen. Okay. Let's go out. And see if we can't make this thing work. And in fact, since it took me so long to do this, let's. No! I went up the wrong one. Let's grab whatever else is ready. Because then we'll be certain that we've got enough bottles when we get out there. Put that one back. And we're ready to go. Ready to go. Alright, you're about to see this machine in action. And in fact, I've just remembered that you want to pre-lubricate your, your system with, like, five. I think five water bottles is as many as you need to pre-lubricate. <laughs> it will, the system will, like, sort itself out. Um, 
as long as you've provided it with an excess of uh, empty bottles, so you don't have to. But uh, if you want it to run perfectly from the first throw, then this is how you'll do it. So, boom, 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 boom. Completely filled, nine stacks. And then we want to get access to the hosel, <laughs> the hopper. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in uh, four uh, random objects that will block the, uh, the item hopper. And I'm going to... I'm going to put a half stack in here. Half stack is more than you need, but if you run this thing at its, like, minimum, then you're going to, you're going to screw things up occasionally. And you're going to have a problem. If you've got an excess here, the system will, like, write itself. It'll produce an extra water bottle when it runs out of water bottles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, do a half stack. That's the best. It's, it's the middle of, of not getting screwed over. And then to pre-lubricate, we're going to drop five water bottles into the main dispenser that's up here. That's the last little touch for this system. And now, the important part when you're doing this, grass blocks will definitely work, right? So I'm going to do this. The important part uh, for doing this is that you don't just put something here. You have to put something here first. You have to put dirt here that you're going to turn into mud. And then you put dirt here. Because when this fires, remember how this works, we're going to put a block here, it's going to close the circuit from there to there, basically. And then instantly, this dispenser is going to turn this into mud. And then after a short tick, an extra, like one tick, we've got it set to one, then this will push forward. So this is going to happen first. So you always want to have something here waiting for you. And this is part of why I've redesigned this, um, this platform from how Jack and Apes, or whatever... <laughs> The, the name of the guy is, how they designed it, is because if you stand behind here and you always put your dirt there, you're like, you're, you're never going to forget that you need to have this here. Whereas if you're, if you're trying to put the stuff in here and you're holding shift, which also slows things down, which we're not going to do because we don't have to, our system works better. Um, you're going to forget to put this here sometimes, but if you get used to operating it from back here, you'll always put one there. Um, the last little thing would be to, number one, I want to do this in the daylight, but also I want to put like a, a half slab in such a way as I won't miss, miss a beat here. Hello, Paula Peño. Are we doing this evening? Well, we're just coming to the end of it. We've made a lot of progress today, and this, uh, you're, you're just about to catch the coup de grace of this design uh, of a um, of a clay uh, a clay farm uh, which we don't have the dripstone points for it yet so today it's just going to be a mud farm but we're about to produce a whole bunch of mud that if we had dripstone to go underneath on the bottom of this to suck the moisture out of the mud then we'd be making clay um, I just wanted to put damn it I don't know what I did with my... Oh, I used all my copper half slabs on the roof. That's why I don't have any. And you just cut one piece of copper in two. And I just want to set this up so that it's a bit of a sort of a feed to make sure that you're not uh, missing where you want to where you want to be dropping your items. Um, maybe here? That might be the way to go. And for decorative purposes... Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna run it like that. That looks good to me. I like the way that the glass connects around now. It's not like disconnected or hanging in a weird way. It looks good from all the angles. And as long as we can turn grass blocks into mud, this should work when we do it. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. I'm going to do it from this angle. And 
Let's see. All right, well, that didn't, uh, that didn't do what we expected it to do. You might not be able to turn grass blocks into dirt, into mud. Yeah, it looks like grass cannot be turned into mud. Learn something new every day. That's fine. Uh, as you see, the system has already, like, fixed itself. It has already reproduced water bottles, even though it lost two of them. And so what's happened is, if we go under here, we're now down to 30 from 32, because the system fixed itself by adding two bottles from our empty. That's why you have a little bit of extra there, is because you're, you're going to have these kind of, you know, issues. Um, let's see if we can turn Podsol into mud. Ready? I'll do the first one from first person mode here. You cannot turn Podsol into mud. Son of a biscuit. We need actual dirt. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> uh, if I just dig what we've got here with this crappy shovel, uh, I'll lay it out and, and redig it. You don't just just get just, just dig dirt from somewhere where you don't need it. I've already we've already done that. I'm gonna need to make myself an efficiency five fortune shovel. Uh, so that'll be on the next the, the list of the next things to do here. Is uh, is we've got a number of tools that still need to be made. We need silk touch pickaxe and we need a fortune uh, shovel. Any more? There's some regular dirt. Spruce planks. Let's turn this all into spruce planks. That's one last thing in my inventory. Okay. Now we'll use the crappy diamond shovel to convert all of this into regular dirt. So you can't just directly make podzol or grass into mud. Learn something new every day. I wonder if you can do it with coarse dirt. Not rooted dirt, but coarse dirt, because we've got some coarse dirt, too. Anyway, there, we've made more than a stack of dirt, and now this machine should work. Did I... Are we good on the hosel? I don't know why I call it the hosel. Let's, let's make sure that we're at 32, because once I get it running, it should just be perfect from, from then on out. Okay, you ready? We're going to do the first one from here. See that? Turned it to mud. Instantaneously. We're going to do the second one. Pretty good. Now, let's go hog wild here. Okay, some of them missed for a second. This should end up being perfect. Yeah, the system had to sort its... Okay. <clears throat> you see, the problem here is I didn't put a roof on this. That's why we got some that weren't turned into mud. Uh, let's go ahead and recollect those. <laughs> the reason why some of them didn't is because we're, we're letting them pop out the top. Uh... Because, yeah, I ran out of the... I didn't have the copper for the top of it or something like that when I first did it. Now we can do it. So, give me... Four more. And then we'll, uh... Hit the top, and then I'm gonna have to refill or empty bottles or something to get it back into perfection. But my system never misses a beat. If you go and watch Jack and Apes... <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be mean. I'm just. It's. I don't know, I'm a funny man. I make funnies. Um, uh, Jack and Apes does. Uh, that system doesn't quite do this fast enough, and so you do get dirt occasionally instead of mud. Mine doesn't do that. Mine works. It's perfectly efficient. Uh, so we won't see any dirt once we get this actually working correctly. Uh, da -da 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 -da. 
that's all in place, and now back underneath, check the hosel. Uh, put this back up to 32. Doesn't need to be 32, I'm just doing that because I want it to be 32. And now we could keep going, but our, our mud will be out of whack, out of sync, and I want it to look right, you know? So let's just fill that spot back in, and yeah, to hell with it. Go ahead and push that under my feet. Alright, now, everything should work and work perfectly, and in fact, we'll get a better shot of it working if I stand like this, I think. You know what? I'm going to take out that piece of glass in the corner there. No, I'm not. I, I, I like it. All right, here it is, money shot, right now. Not gonna miss a beat. And we're out of dirt. <laughs> that money shot didn't last long. There you go. And that's how fast it moves, and that's how quick it makes you the mud. And if we had the dripstone tips underneath here to suck the moisture out of the mud, it would be turning that into clay right now. And the next, like, move that I put onto this design in order to increase it, you know, to, to make it crazy, is uh, being able to sort of 3D printer style make the uh, mud go up by three and then get pushed across onto another layer and then up by another three and pushed across onto another layer so that you end up with a four stack of these. Um... What you end up with is, in terms of, like, viable stacks, are 12 by 11 spaces, I believe. What is this? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it's 12 in this direction. Ends up being 11 in this direction because you got to have a column that pushes them up. Uh, end up with 12 by 11, so 12 times 11 being 132? 132, and then that times four, because you get four stacks of them, and that ends up being over 500 clay that you can make. If you've got the 500 dirt to just stand here and hold right-click, or, uh, you know, hold right-click and then do the F3T trick, which is you press F3 and press T, and it, re you know, it reloads your textures, you take your right-click off now, right when the bar is fading, and then it will act as though you are still holding right click. That's a little bit of a trick so that you can, you know, hold a, hold a button and go AFK kind of thing. Like, actually, what, what can I do? Is there anything that I can do that would be visible here? I mean, just right clicking this and then F3 T and then I'll stop holding now and you'll see that my shield is still held up and it will remain held up Oh, and see, we're, <laughs> we're apparently also, yeah, because I'm, because I'm holding block, this is how, but I'm not actually holding block, you know, I'm not holding the right click. Now, if I hit right click, we're released again. Uh, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the farm over here, and I do, I have lit it up in the past, but it looked better like that. And do I have one spare? You know what? This 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 kind of might look cool. Uh, the other way. Huh? It kind of blocks the view of the bubble column, though. Uh, I don't love it. I don't love it. Um, why are you here? You don't have to be there. Oh, that was to help me get up. So I can just take that away and use it there. 
I like it. I think I like it. Yeah. 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 That's our thing. And we did it. Before the end of the live stream, I built the I built the simplest version of it anyway. Uh, we also built today this uh, cobblestone slash stone generator uh, that, you know, just fills up, and uh, that's why we need a silk touch pickaxe as well, so that it can just be a stone generator. And I've also got the makings of... of... to, to move two villagers that I've got in my basement uh, out over here, and then get them kind of trapped out here, is the idea. Uh, so that I can trade with them as masons. Um, and we did bring out some iron bars to try and build a little area for them to to work in, to live in. To work and live and live and work in. Uh, and now that I'm thinking about it, I can kind of see how that might go together. So... I just want, like, a little shop area... Gonna need more room than that, Pawn. Yes, they are. This would give them enough room to walk around in there and still have the beds. <laughs> it's uh, kind of mean that that's all that it's gonna be, but I mean, I never said I wasn't mean. Why is there water there, incidentally? Give me this grass. Like that, and then the idea would be, I should I should finish the walling it in before I do that. Oh, but no. Oh, but no. Oh, but no. Yeah, it'll have to be a little bit different than that because I don't want. I guess they could have their own window in there. Nah, they don't need a window. <laughs> it's a it's a shop. Uh, and there were definitely places like this in places that I've, like, worked and stuff. Um, places that I was a janitor in, um, you know, factory environments. They had, uh, places where their employees had to, were forced to sleep. No, <laughs> they had, you know, little cages like this. Um, where they did some manufacturing of, of radiators in specific is what, what my place was. I guess it's coming out one more. Yeah, which means all these would come down. Two. No. No, no. I don't want it coming that far out. And I've just envisioned a way where it doesn't have to. Uh... Which is just, the beds are end-to-end, -end and it'll actually make them look less like beds. I could even make uh, colored beds, you know, that are a certain, and that would maybe help them blend in a little bit more. But it looks more like benches, and so you can have two villagers in here, uh, that will always be in here, that are masons, that are just, just for us to trade with. Um, and I can trade with them through there. Oh god, the fucking blue ice guy. I did the farming, and I never went and got the money. Uh, let's, yeah, don't, don't waste any more time. Uh, shit. Just, just whatever I was carrying around. Get it out of here. Let's make sure that we do this. Blue ice is valuable stuffs. Uh, yes. Um, balls. 
Balls, balls. There's too much shit in my inventory. I will come back immediately after this, and we'll clear it out, and, and make the world a better place. But, but right now... Two stacks of you. All these. All those. Let's go trade, get money, buy blue ice. that money. And then you better think well of me. We did, we did this recently. Wasn't that long ago. You shouldn't have forgotten what a nice guy I am already. But you did. Seriously, bro? Come on. Think well of me. Ah, you think well of me. Give me all that money. And then tell your idiot friend over here that I'm a swell dude. There you go. Perfect. Okay, we got the money. Um. We got the money. Before that dude despawns. They're around for 45 minutes. I just don't know how long it's been. He's still here. Give me all your blue ice. Okay. Nothing else is worth anything to me. Thank you. And then I put everything back. Uh, get you out of there. That hay bale back. Get that pumpkin back. You go in there and you go in there. And I... Yeah, I left a bunch of shit in the pumpkin. <laughs> all back out. What do I have now that I didn't have then? You have money. I have money now that I didn't have then. Well, have some green carp. Why do I have... No, wait, I need to... I need to find out why I have green carpet. I should have had four and used four. There's something wrong with the hosel. Okay, no. It's fine. Oh, it's because I broke the, the chest that had the one last green carpet in here. That's right. That's what we were doing before everything turned into something else. Yeah, I love the way this looks. Like, immediately. Um... It's gonna be like that. No. Uh, I mean, they don't need to have a uh, a chest. I got my chest there. Could be another chest over there. It doesn't hurt that it, that it kind of looks like something, though. And that doesn't bother me. What if I, uh, gave you guys a, a table? That's a smaller table. Workbench. Yeah, then you're blocking how me reaching to, to talk to them. But I don't care. I think it's in theme. And then the last thing is, can I... I, I can't, can I? I won't be able to... 
I'll have to, like, build a corner if I want there to be an entrance for this. I would put an iron door on here. Yeah. Uh, and I'll just throw some random bullshit around. You, these two things need to be in there. This is what they do for a living. <laughs> yeah, honestly, instead of that, let's just have the, um... No, let's line them up. Let's have them go this way. Oh, that, that is the way that you had it before. Let's, mm, mm. So, zzzz, no, you're, you're slicing it. You're slicing it. And that will keep them standing here, too, both of them, so that I can reach them with a click. In fact, I might be better off having it that. Yeah, it doesn't look good. You have it like that. I think I'm going to make it smaller. Yeah. Because as much as this looks like a bench, Is that enough for both of them to sleep? It's not enough for them to walk around. I'm not making it smaller. Yeah, this will be fine, but I will need to turn the sides of this into something that you can, you can attach a door to. Yeah, bunk beds, I considered that as well, but I just don't like it even... I don't like it looking as though these are even beds. I don't really want it to be obvious, you know. I, I like that this kind of hides it in theory. It makes it look more like it's a bench. And and I'd be better... I'd be... Yeah, I should change the color. I should make beds of, of a different color for that, too. I could make green. We've definitely got enough green wool. Well, we've got the ability to make green wool because we've got green sheep. Um, but let me go grab an iron door, because we're almost done with this live stream. Sink it in the ground. Uh, you know, though, <laughs> I kind of like how it looks right now. I like it looking like a bench. If I sink it in the ground, it won't look like a bench anymore. What did I come back for? There's, uh, green beds are now on my mind. We came back for iron door. is here. We need one of them. Uh, inner and outer button. Uh, and, uh... If I need a door frame, at least on one side, I'll, I'll, I think I'll probably need a door frame. It would look, it would be coolest if it were actually a full iron block, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna do two iron blocks, even though it's a horrendous waste of iron. And we haven't, like, solved that as a problem or anything yet. That in there, you in there, and actually, this is this goes in here, huh? Yeah, baby. And then the sand can go back downstairs. We got the then the two stone buttons, and then we got you and you, and the rest of this shit. Nice for doors to attach to fences, wouldn't it? I think this is gonna look okay. In my head now, I've already sort of figured out that 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 should look good. Um. What are you doing, Pawn? Well, I was going to come up here. Why would you come up here ever into the library? 
Well, because I'm carrying a grindstone. And, uh... Where you're doing enchanting, you frequently need to do disenchanting as well. I'm just trying to figure out where I would want... If you're going to stand here and do the disenchanting? I think that's... that's viable. Yeah. Enchant, disenchant, I can probably cope with that. Okay. And all the way back down. Who? Why are there... Oh, because they're in my basement. That's right. Oh, wait. It's raining. Hey, why don't you go inside? Where's my shears? Damn it. I've thrown things down in so many different places, apparently I left my shears behind. So, I'm thinking this is the side that ends up being the iron blocks. <sighs> that so juts into the room. Left side on- oh, they are there, okay. Let's try and get that before, uh... It's just so big. It's so big. It's so big. Am I just allowed to place this anywhere? Right, you are, but it doesn't it doesn't end up attaching and then it looks like shit. I don't think I want to do two iron blocks for this. Okay, I think I think I want it'll be like that and then it's going to be Stairs, probably. Just to try and make it feel a little lighter. Yeah, it just ends up Shutting into the room. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea, and that is no door. No door. I get them in here, right? And then I put a, a iron trap door here will it, it'll be flat right it'll be flat to start so i'll put an iron trap door they won't be able to walk out i'll be able to walk in get me an iron trap door so i can test this yep uh, I can walk right under that, but they won't be able to, right? And, okay, double up, double up, double up. Another thing that they can't get past, they can't walk under. In fact, maybe I don't even do the iron trapdoor, it's carpet. So I will put a black piece of carpet right there. They can't walk over carpet, can they? Uh, when it's, you know, because it, it makes it less than they are two units tall, and they need it to be completely two units tall, don't they? To walk. Oh, I went in the express elevator. Isn't that true? Mm, you need 
to black wool. To make carpet. Uh, and I don't have any more wool here, do I? I have... I have white carpet somewhere, though. I could just stain some white carpet, right? Or even the green carpet. <clears throat> There's green carpet. Can I change you to black? Yes, I can. There you go. That's what I needed to do. That's a smart way to go about that. Wish I would have come up with it back when I would have been considered smart for having come up with it. So there will also be, like, you know, floor, eventually, for this facility. Uh, it'll have a nice, probably concrete floor. But there will also be a uh, place where you wipe your feet coming into this area. And that alone will keep these villagers from being able to walk out, I think. And if it's not enough, then we can also put in the iron trapdoor. But that's the plan for now, is this. Villagers shouldn't be able to go in and out. And it won't block me at all, and it won't look like I have made them into slaves. It'll just, they'll be, they're just working. They're just working, and, and in fact, I've been so kind as a boss that when they're, like, get tired, they can just sit down on this nice, comfy, padded bench behind them. <laughs> I'm such a nice boss. What a, what a great guy I am. And on that note, are we done for the day? I, I don't feel like I'm done. I want to at least clean up uh, my inventory a bit, you know, uh, have a look around and see what, what loose strands I've left for next time. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's empty out the inventory and see where we stand. So you guys go in there. No need for stone buttons or iron doors. Yeah, I got a little bit of money. Three buckets on me. Redstone. This copper. I got this blue ice. Iron bars. Check on the dripstone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Uh, get you down onto the hot bar in the place that you usually are. I think something like that. Uh, redstone, gonna go over here. Blue ice. I don't know where the hell I'm keeping it, but I know I've got some. There, no, that wasn't that. That was lapis. There's the blue ice. Uh, and the copper I'm carrying around can actually go up with the copper. The hell was that sound? Is that in my house or in the game? <laughs> Maybe Lady Pawn is watching a... something about whales? What the fuck am I hearing in the background? <laughs> I mean, we could try and move our guys over right now. That's another thing that we can do. Okay, let me, like, clear the way, make sure there aren't any zombies outside from overnight. That are going to be problematic. Let me lift this up. The idea will be, I'm going to ship these boys out here. They're going to get to here, and then they're going to just have to path their way in toward the nearest job, which will be in there. I'm going to, I'm going to actually extend the, extend this a little bit further. I need more crafting tables throughout this building. Give me another 16 rails. Let's bring you inside the building. 
So you will be here, you will walk up, out, you'll come in here to get your job, and then I'm behind you to lock your ass in, motherfucker. So, that'll be the idea. Let's send these boys over, and maybe we can actually make our guys into what they're supposed to end up being, into the Masons. Hopefully they still remember that I saved their lives. It's been quite a while. And they might have gotten pissed off by being, you know, in these. Trapped inside the... Mine carts this whole time. Okay. Guy number one. Are you sure I don't have to do that? I'm gonna do that. And... You're on your way! Hey, no, I should follow you this way. Oh, see? Oh no, he's underground, whoever that is. Alright, you're over here. Um, let me make sure that you're gonna exit the way that I want you to, by blocking off the ability for you to exit any other way. Uh, and I just want to wait a little bit longer to make sure that it's the time of day where you would go try and get yourself a job. These are these two jobs are right here. He can path to it. This should work. You tell what's going on up there with the dripstone? I don't think we've seen any action on that dripstone yet. Which... Isn't that usually the way? Like, it takes them a while to get started, and then once they've started, they, they actually, they go. And we did transplant it. Alright, come on. Let's find out. Yep. You took the job. Now head back in there. I'm just gonna hold you in there. Well, I go get your buddy. This is working. It's working people. Uh, tick cycle is longer on dripstone. It's definitely a long one, yeah. But I, I also feel like most things in this game, they, they, they you can't... There's so much that's known about the code and everything, everybody, so it's like... But it, it feels like the first time you do something is the longest. Right? Like, you place a piece of dripstone, and the first time that it, uh, that it grows is, you know, it takes 20 minutes or something like that. After you've done it once, though, uh, then it's on a truly, like, random tick. Um, that has a minimum to it, but that you just don't see. That's how it feels to me, anyway. With kind of everything, not just dripstone, with everything that's like that. Block this off so you have to exit the way that I want you to. Um, I'm jump over you. And I'm going to open the door so that you'll be able to get in here. Head up there, bud. Now, if I can get them both in there at the same time... He's unable to exit! As I intended. ha 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 Alright, and they will, like, trade clay balls and shit with me. Um, let's, let's find out how good the trades are gonna be, though. Um... So... Helps to be in the chuck... ...to help the cycle. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to buy bricks from them. This is why we, we want masons, is so that I can buy bricks. I didn't mean to buy that many. I held shift when I didn't intend. It's you. Uh, stone is 15 for one. I was hoping that it would go down a lot more. Apparently you would have to do it four times, I would guess. Four heals and cures of a zombie. 
in order to get them super cheap on the stone. Uh, I mean, we can just stand over here and make stone, but it is... It's not going to be, like, a super efficient way to get money. Uh, at 15, it's not great, you know. If it were at 1, then that wouldn't take any time at all. Uh, so do you think I should maybe just not have two masons? Uh, you know, because I can save one of these zombie villagers, these healed boys. Uh, for something else. For now, you're both in here, but I'm not going to trade with the other one. I'm only going to trade with one of these guys, because it seems like a waste of a zombie... A healed zombie villager. Uh, if my only discount here is five, you know. It's, it's... If it's only going to be 15 stone instead of 20, as opposed to like 10 or 5 or 1 even, then yeah. Kind of balls to that. Uh, any movement? Any movement on the dripstone? Where the hell is it? I can't even tell. I can see it. It's dripping. I see it dripping. Uh, you may have to take one out behind the woodshed. Well, I'm not going to kill him, but I'm just like... Give him a different job. Like, make him a farmer. Like, if I could get this guy over to there to be a farmer, uh, a farmer would, who's been healed, would buy and sell watermelons and pumpkins, presuming they got both of them, um, for one, for literally one emerald. And that would just be, that's a brilliant trade. You get, you know, a lot of money out of that. Very easy money from that. So maybe that's what he ends up being. But we'll leave that for another day. Just one dripstone and I could I could, you know, double our rate of production, but you got to start doing the thing. Damn it. Well, we moved our guys over and uh I don't think we're going to need this uh for, you know, forcing anybody else to, you know, work here. Uh I don't think they'll have to come in that way. We, like, I, I have, however, I did want uh, there to be a way to round up a villager and force them into my basement to get converted into a zombie. That's, that's part of this. Uh, so I am going to leave some of these tracks in place, uh, but not all of them. Uh, I've taken it back to here anyway, and we'll we'll just see. AFK for a while to get the drift storm points going. I that would be the best way to go about it. I just we haven't done anything. There hasn't been a single second of of this game that hasn't that ha that hasn't been recorded on stream with all of us together. Yeah, most of my people died. Look at these losers, these librarians who don't know nothing about nothing. I say losers, let me check in and see if they've got a Silk Touch or a uh, Fortune 3 that I need. I need Fortune 3 for my shovel. I'm gonna go get some paper for you. Hang on, bud. Don't, don't, don't change. You keep doing you, okay? Don't ever change. Will that be enough paper? Let's just just go ahead and... We're in no rush. He's not going to change his job. A couple of seconds. This is really fortunate that somebody happens to have Fortune 3. Because... Pretty sure everybody's dead. Spent all my money on bricks, that's right. But, I can make a trade to lock him in. He's gone to sleep. I'll have to find him tomorrow. Or I could just wake everybody up one at a time. Holy shit, guys! Uh... I think I see the problem. Why so many of you died. Uh... How did this happen? How would how would two doors get blown off the hinges by a creeper? 
How would that... <laughs> well, that's one of the ways it could have happened. Okay. Should be... Surely there's an open bed somewhere. I don't want to have to go to my house to sleep. You steal them? I didn't break any... No, I didn't break any doors down. Oh, someone steals them? <laughs> the zombies? No, but seriously, like, how? how? In what instance? Uh... Yeah, I had some emeralds, too. Won't be enough to buy the Fortune 3, but I can lock our Fortune 3 guy in. With a trade. Mending. I mean... If I don't have it... I don't know if we still have a mending guy, so... Yep. Yep. Fortune 3 and Mending, those are two of the things we know that we're going to need. In case I get lucky on anybody else knowing something that I wanted. What? Yeah, no, it's, it's it's fine, guy. It's You don't, you don't have to follow me around or anything. Smite 1. You don't know nothing. Fortune 3. You don't know nothing. Lure 2. Quit walking around, everybody. Respiration 2. Smite one. You don't know nothing. Looting one. Dead skeleton. Okay, we got really fortunate to pick up mending and looting three. No, fortune three. Uh, for free. Uh, without putting any effort into it. Those are two of the things we need. I need Silk Touch. I need... Unbreaking. The Unbreaking guy used to live in here and used to still be alive. Are you guys going to work now? Or maybe, no, he used to live in here. And he hadn't died. His door wouldn't blown off. Are you the guy? You're the Unbreaking guy. Good. So we've got Unbreaking 3. Uh, all we need is Efficiency 5 and Silk Touch. Those are the things we need from villagers. For next time. For next time. And next time we should probably start out by moving the, the farmer. Moving this guy over here. Over so that he's a farmer. Uh and so that I can trade with him for pumpkins and stuff once I train him up to be the kind of farmer that I that I need. Uh, I don't know how exactly I will get him over there. Maybe I'll have to lay down the, the more railroad tracks to, to bring him over and then swap him in. Just put him in with my other farmers? already got those guys trained, and they're trained in the way that I want them, right? They would trade everything? Do both of them trade both pumpkins and watermelons? Pumpkins and watermelons. Pumpkins and watermelons. I should focus on getting you guys zombified. <laughs> in hard mode, is it guaranteed that they'll be zombified? Breed another villager? Zombies break down doors? Is that true? In hard mode they break down the doors? That's, I mean, shouldn't we have spawned a... I guess because the big man was stuck in here, the game was like, no, we spawned a big man. He just isn't helping anybody. Is that the idea? Do I need to... Do I need to kill you? <laughs> I might need to need to off that guy. Villagers don't care if I kill their protector, do they? I don't think they do. Um, 
course he will F me up. I'm not, I'm not, this, we're done for the day, I think, right? Let's have another look around. You see the size of the whatever. We also got jungle trees today. Uh, thanks to a wandering villager. Came through. So I was able to plant, uh, the first two jungle trees. Hopefully we'll get enough saplings to replant two jungle trees, because these trees are just horrific. Uh, for not giving you saplings. In fact, it might be worth it to try and get started here if I went up here and, like, uh, used a Fortune 3 tool on them to break the leaves to increase the rate um, before I even take the wood. That's an idea for next time. Please let me know that that works. It should work, right? The, the tables are very clear on what works and what doesn't. Uh, as a finisher, let's, let's fill this thing up. Let's fill this thing up with mud. So I need one, two, three, four, five, uh, by two, four, six, eight, ten. Five by ten. Uh, so I need fifty. Fifty more dirt. Let's fill that thing up and that'll be our finisher. Um, the Day of Clay, which a lot of it wasn't about clay, but all of it was moving toward this the whole time. It's, it's almost like funny to me to look back and, and see that we actually did do the things that we set out to do. Um, so, 11 plus you, 43, 50. 50 should be the exact number that we need to fill this thing up and jam it up. And also, let's go ahead and make all them bricks we're going to need for next time. Ooh, hoorah. Hoorah. Sheerah. Restack some shit. Uh, paper, it'll remind me anyway. Two mine carts in my... Hang on, let me, let me just sort some things out before we call it done. You know, wood goes over there. The dirt we're going to use. I'm carrying this around. I forgot to... I forgot to get the... Uh, honey? I think? Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, put you in here as well. It's iron-ish related kind of stuff. And then all that. The leftover bricks. Drop those in there. Bring the bricks with me. I'll keep, I'll keep the money on me. Paper and sugar cane. We'll go out in the sugar cane chest. I have the paper in here. Like, no, there. Just drop it in there. Don't drop that in here. And then the door. Spruce door. Y'all good now? We all good now. One of these filled up. All right. For my final trick of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one and all, I'm going to make 50 mud. Check, check it. Okay, uh, thank you.
There you go. And actually, there's uh, room for more. Is this two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve? And then this is the thirteenth line right there. And so, yeah, that is exactly it. And we actually could have filled it back up. We could have filled it up with uh, ten more right here. Ten more dirt to, to put it into a locked state. But uh, there is a bit of a trick to, like, if you lock this thing out, what you have to remember is to unjam it. You gotta un, you gotta break this block uh, when it's locked out, cause yeah, see, so it'll it'll stay in this state until you break this block. So this is how you unjam the machine. Break that block, and then come down here, and you would have to you would have this block would be mud. And this would be dirt, and it wouldn't have been able to move this either. This would also be in a locked out state, right? So you gotta uh, get that mud out of there, break that out, put dirt back here, break this dirt as well so that it unlocks the whole system from here. You gotta break these three blocks, basically. Simple thing. Break this, break this, and break that. And that'll, uh, that'll unjam the system if it ever gets jammed on you. But there you go. It's a hundred and thirty-one mud or something sitting there. You can make a, a song out of that sound effect. Ooch, 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 ooch. That's gonna be it for me. Ooh, it's nighttime. I love it. I love it. We need to light things up a little bit better out here. Zombie. Baby zombies will be able to get in here and kill my boys. That's okay, we're going to secure this building eventually, and then the building will be all the security that they need, and this will just be an extra thing to keep them safe. So we're just going to hope and pray that they don't get killed <laughs> before we finish that building, which will be next time. And that'll be, I think we will be finishing that next time, now that we can trade for... Uh, bricks. We should, we were getting bricks that way. We'll manage to start drying out our own clay and making bricks by cooking it up and stuff like that. We're about to turn a corner in the clay game. I'm gonna get into the clay, aching, clay, clay, I'm gonna, something about clay, something funny that has the word clay in it. You, you figure it out and let me know. For I am the Ronin born. Yeah. What? Chica. Chica. Yeah. Ooh. That's a seven hour session that time. Hmm. Seven hours of Minecraft, and we started an hour and a half after I woke up, so my entire day has been Minecraft. And uh, the day after our last Minecraft set. So Thursday we did Minecraft on the stream. Friday, day after, I spent the entire day designing the, um, the clay farm that we just built today. The whole day. So Thursday was Minecraft stream. Friday was a whole day of Minecraft. Saturday was a little bit of Minecraft, just polishing off my design, making sure that there wasn't anything better I could do with it. And then today, Sunday, another whole day of Minecraft, an hour and a half after I get up. I should maybe do something else with my life, occasionally. It may include uh, Jurassic World Evolution, a game that, that we picked up on Humble Bundle for five bucks. Uh, and I think I'm interested in playing that on stream maybe this Thursday at 2 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I am the Ronin Pawn. Meet me back here. Thursdays and Sundays, 2 p.m. Pawn. Out. Uh...